स्क्रीन लॉट आ रहा है गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन वेलकम टू द नेशनल वेबिनार ऑन लोकल सेल्फ गवर्नमेंट्स एंड सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट गुड प्रैक्टिस फ्रॉम केरला दिस इज द थर्ड ऑफ द सीरीज ऑन दिस वेबिनार सीरीज एलियर वी हैड थीम्स ऑन एग्रीकल्चर वाटर कंजर्वेशन एंड नाउ वी आर एक्चुअली मूविंग ऑन टू child friendly local governance here we should all remember that as part of the people's plan campaign many areas dealing with social justice and social protection and all were actually considered by the local self governments in kerala and one of them was on child friendly local governance in fact the plan guidelines itself speaks about a mandatory 5% to be earmarked for child related activities now for this webinar today we are fortunate to have our honorable minister for health social justice and women and child development shrimati shailaja teacher with us she will inaugurate the webinar today welcome shailaja teacher we have with us seven local governments we have valapattanam gram panchayat from kannur we have peravur gram panchayat from kannur again then we have kolari gram panchayat from thrissur gramavaram gram panchayat from kottayam katakada gram panchayat from tiruvananthapuram kottakal municipality in malappuram district and we have the thrissur district panchayat so their representatives the presidents the chair persons will present the experiences and as panelists we have mrs shobha koshi who was the he was the former chair person of the kerala state commission for protection of child rights then we have sri g balkobal ias retired who was also the country head or country representatives of unicef in various countries and we have dr kathireshan from the national institute of rural development and panchayat raj hyderabad and of course as in the past we have dr thomas isaac the honorable minister for finance with us and uh, welcome all of them to this webinar of course uh, this is an event jointly organized by gulati institute of finance for finance and taxation the gift its director dr kj joseph is here as well as we partner with uh, haritha kerala mission the honorable, honorable Exec executive vice chair person dr t n seema is also there with us welcome all of them and of course we have this large gathering of participants I mean, who are actually watching it from various places in the country and abroad through the facebook pages or through the youtube pages or through the zoom uh, welcome all of them so with these words i welcome our honorable minister for health social justice and women and child development srinidhi teacher to inaugurate this webinar teacher over to okay respected dignitaries who are participating in this uh, very novel webinar on child rights my dear brothers and sisters it is the responsibility of the society to protect the child rights and save our child and we are implementing these things through several governing bodies through the departments and also by the local self government i deal with the health department and also the women and children department and social justice also all these departments are dealing with the rights of child and we are implementing this thing through local self governments we can say all the institutions are transferred to local self government after the 73 and 73rd amendments of our constitution 
and uh, local self governments have a leading role to protect the rights of the child we can say that the child rights are subset of human rights and we give special intervention to provide or to get uh, protection and care to the child some special intervention should be the in local self governments and also in departments we are defining the child rights according to the convention of un crc and after that the child rights is defined what and what are the child rights child has the rights of the grown up people or the citizen rights to everything right to speech and right to express their idea or thought and uh, rights to be free from fear and also uh, to make participation etc crc classifies these rights into three p's one is provision and other is protection and the third one is participation we should have to ensure the child have to should have to allow to enjoy all these three p's provision means the right to adequate standard of living from birth to how they are brought up and how we are attending the needs of the child from the time of the birth itself they should have to have a place to born safely that is the first thing they allowed to enjoy and all these three p's and uh, the second thing is the protection protection from abuse and protection from neglect and protection from exploitation and discrimination and also the third one participation means the child is like they are grown up being and like all citizen there should be a chance to participate in the society to act to decide and to participate in every function of the society the child has the right and we should examine whether it is happening or not after independence i afraid that most of the childs most of the children are not enjoying their rights in india our constitution specifies child rights also and we are signatory of the crc also and but uh, most of the children in india cannot enjoy this freedom or enjoy these rights which we are decided to have to have uh, what is the fate of the children here a large number of children are they have no place to born safely to get nutrition nutritious food to go to school education they are working we have several laws to protect the child several acts in our indian parliament we have passed the legislation legislations and we have the juvenile justice act we have the, now recently we have the new pokso act we have the child labor prevention act so many acts are there but what is the fate of the child in india most of them are working they are not going to school even though they are entered to school the the dropout is a large number dropouts are there but kerala has a different atmosphere here from 1957 onwards we have some social reforms because of that social reforms we are in the forefront in some of the social indices we can see that in the health sector in the other social sector etc some indices we are in the forefront dropout in kerala is very very plus even in the tribal sector we are doing a good job in the leadership of local self government we are sending our children to school and uh, we are ensuring that they are getting proper education there may be some loop holes but the other parts i think it is not the same situation in other parts of the country in other states some states children are not going to school they are going to uh, work in a hazardous job you can say 
and uh, no protection for these tiles. We should have to ensure their rights. In Kerala, we are trying our best. Department is doing some job. My department is dealing with the Integrated Child Development Scheme. That is central scheme, you know, ICDS. And more than 67 or 70,000, more than 70,000 people are working there. Officers are there. Anganwadi workers and helpers are there. ICDS super and uh, CDPOs are there. And their responsibility is to look after the children below five years. Prenatal, antenatal, postnatal, and from birth itself, that is the first right to allow them to born in a safe place. We are examining. In Kerala now, institutional delivery is increased because of this work of Anganwadi workers and helpers and also Asha workers. And in Panchayat Kudumbasri is the Barasabha is the so many organizations are there under the department and under the local self-government. And we are watching them thoroughly. And the nutrition. Now the central government declared the national nutrition mission. And under that mission, Kerala also declared that mission with our own specifications. Here, Sambushta Kerala. It is in par with the national nutrition mission. And we are trying to best to provide our children nutritious food. We are uh, making it nutritious by adding the nutrients. And uh, the, uh, through the Anganwadi, we are ensuring that the, uh, the little one are getting proper food, nutritious food. And that have a very good impact in the society because of the reforms over the year. We are doing so many things. The fate of children in Kerala is different from other part, I, I can say so. Maybe something better than us in some states and throughout the country, we can adopt that. But a society as a whole, if we are talking, the society as a whole, we have several achievements. We can definitely say so. But uh, in health sector, we are doing more things that we are trying to reduce the child mortality rate and maternal mortality rate. We announced, this government announced some sustainable development goals after the announcement of SDG of the oh, achievements. We can definitely say so. And uh, but, uh, that is the most important thing is more things. So decrease the maternal mortality rate and child mortality rate. We yield a very good result within these four years. From 1957 onwards, we are trying and we our indices are better comparing to other states before also. But throughout these four years, we have special intention according to the SDG of uh, United Nations. We also declared some, some SDG here and uh, we organized some expert group to achieve that result. One team was working with the reduction of maternal mortality. And in 90, uh, 2016, our maternal mortality rate was 67 out of 1 lakh love births, 1 lakh, 1 lakh delivery. But now that decreased to uh, last year, it became 46. And we got first place in India. We got an award from our union government because that is the lowest rate of maternal mortality in India. And we achieved the first place. And uh, today, that become 43. From 46, it uh, become 43. And uh, we, are, we gained some more results. And in the case of child mortality rate, infant mortality rate, IMR, it was 12 out of 1,000 live birth in 2016. But it decreased to single digit and become seven. That's a very great achievement, we can say so. How we achieved this result? It is the uh, very good job, very good work that organized by local self-governments in each and every place. 
the anganwadi workers and helpers are working with them the accredited social health activists asha workers are working with the local self government and they have so many projects for child uh, uh, health and uh, maternal health and with the uni uh, we are working with unity collective work the result of the collective work we achieved a very good result in imr also and we should have to make it sure that the acts are implementing for the poor children jaj act juvenile justice act defines several things we should make it sure in each and every panchayat we should have some project to ensure the rights which is in this laws and we are trying to do so but we have to move forward we have to work miles miles to go in this aspect we have to ensure that um, the uh, we are saying that the protection from abuse but one thing we should have in, in our mind that the child abuse is rampant in kerala also even though we got several plus points or first places several developments but the child abuse we cannot say that it is over and no child was abused in kerala and child abuse is the in the family they are suffering the children are suffering most of the cases when we examine the abuse or the neglect or the exploitation everything is inside the family most of it is inside the family then our local self government have more responsibility to make it sure that the family is a comfortable place for the child in our department this women and children department we started a pro program called responsible parenting what is the responsible parenting that means to ensure the rights of child right freedom to speak and also to act uh, participate in the activity that should be ensured in the family itself from the family we should have start from the family itself and to ensure protection in the family we want to send a child or uh, to nurture or raise a child in the family first institutional care is the last thing in my department also there are so many children who have no aspects or uh, provision in the family we are taking the institutional care as a last destination we like to send the children to home so social justice women and children department is sending the children either home and ensure the care or the institutions and in the institutions also we should have to provide the care and love what they are getting from the home and we are uh, sending children to foster care the poor children who have become disputes they are we are uh, sending the children to foster care and ensuring the family affection and care the we should have to expand that kind of things more there are so many children in the family who are suffering in the neglect and exploitation there and also there are so many laws child labor act it is there but uh, the children uh, how the children are happening to uh, go to the labor we should examine that in kerala we have a very good project called charana balyam and through that project we are examining whether any children are working paid labor or uh, other kind of labor in any place we are examining our scores are there in each and every districts six uh, people who are trained a resource group is there they are examining thoroughly and they are watching and if any child labor come under their attention they are told they are intervening in it and saving that child 
it just started in the shabarimala in the that season and uh, so many children from outside the states are coming there to sell something or uh, for some kind of labor someone are bringing children from other states and we actually we are rescuing them we rescued more than 150 children through charanabalyam most of them are from uh, other states outside kerala a few children are from kerala all the others are from outside and we are sending the children to their parents inquiring about their parents and uh, ensuring the safety there we are sending them to their own home otherwise if they have no home to return we are admitting them to our homes and uh, we are uh, sending them to schools and uh, uh, we are uh, protecting them like that and this child marriage all the local self government should be very keen on this issue uh, i thought uh, first of all that there are no child labor, uh, child marriage in kerala before uh, five or 10 years but when we as a, i was a worker of uh, all india democratic women's association we studied about this we have a very good survey on that seema is here seema and i are working we are working uh, as the state uh, office bearers of uh, edwa at that time we had a very good survey and we find out that child marriage is here also in kerala in some districts but it is not rampant in some district or some place it is happening here and we should get rid of that also local self government should attend that uh, uh, that thing also and have a very good project on that and uh, in help and sector 100% immunization our society is educated and kerala have total literacy 100% literacy and we thought that every people is ready to have immunization but in some part that also fine is a, uh, yeah, i think it is not uh, a common thing in some part uh, people are not like to have the vaccination etc and we fight hard against that with the help of the local self government and leaders we ensure at that place that uh, total uh, immunization is getting to the child we are doing that also and uh, we should uh, focus on this kind of uh, issues i am not uh, going uh, uh, i am not elaborating my speech because uh, the experts are sitting the Uh, so many uh, dignitaries who are working in child rights sector is is there and uh, leaders of local self government is there uh, and i think uh, after your discussion more points will come out and uh, uh, we will get uh, some platform to act uh, more effectively and we are trying our best in health sector and uh, uh, this uh, women in child sector so many projects are there i am not mentioning everything to help the child for adolescents also there are so many uh, projects the adolescent issue is is a is a severe issue at that stage they are not getting attention or they cannot share their feelings and emotion to others and uh, they are getting suicide and they are doing some uh, that kind of thing and we should have protect that adolescent uh, Uh, children also this is the season of pandemic the pandemic is jeopardizing all the rights of human beings not only uh, grown up people but also children are also becoming more vulnerable or more more uh, uh, this uh, they are attacking the rights of children also this pandemic and they are in the home for more time with the elders and they cannot uh, Uh, be good term with uh, sometimes uh, children are suffering with the torturing and uh, uh, the other kind of uh, abuse etc uh, i think uh, our honorable chief minister in his press meet uh, last day he told us that uh, more than 60 children uh, committed suicide during this pandemic season 
that is a severe thing we should open our eyes and uh, look at the social problem more strongly and uh, i have hope that if we work collectively we can get rid of this kind of problems also and my department uh, will do as much as we can and with the help of local self government uh, i am thinking that we can do more more uh, uh, scientifically to tackle this problem and the children are our, our wealth and they have equal freedom and equal rights uh, of every citizen any citizen it is equal to children are equal to any grown up human being and uh, we can ensure we should uh, ensure ensure their uh, uh, rights in, uh, defined in crc and uh, uh, defined by ourselves what is the children's rights and we should protect all the rights of children once again i want to convey my thanks to invite me to uh, this kind of a very good uh, webinar uh, and uh, thanks to all with these words i am concluding my speech thank you all thank you very much teacher uh, you have always been our source of inspiration motivation and support thank you once again now we move on to the next session where uh, dr peter m raj the associate professor of kila will moderate the press i mean especially the session on the presentations by the local governments over to dr peter raj microphone and mute you dr peter uh, please unmute your uh, clear now yes okay sorry for that so honorable ministers other dignitaries and the local governments who are going to make their presentations today as already been informed we have seven local governments making their presentations today out of them five are gram panchayats one is municipality another one is district panchayat trishur or dpc trishur and we have out of the seven we have local governments from north kerala that is kannur and local governments from south kerala that is trivandrum so that it, that means that child friendly when you listen to them may vary from one locality to locality that is why the significance of child friendly local governments coming into significance so here we are sure that when you listen to or hear the presentations rather the experience sharing of all these seven local governments you will understand what exactly is child friendly local governance means maybe some of them will have common programs and activities which may you, you may see from the same in all these panchayats all these local governments but everybody will have some specificities so that is what make them unique in their own way so with that uh, very brief introduction i am happy to invite the seven local governments on by one first we go to balapattanam grama panchayats situated in the district kannur north kerala here as you will see their presentation their focus is carrying out with the child rights realization through children's library owned by the grama panchayats so it means that a library how it becomes a duty bearer in realizing the rights of the children so i warmly welcome the president and other members of the gram panchayat to make their presentation uh, madam lalitha devi bk president of valavattanam gram panchayat hearty welcome for your presentation വളവട്ടം ഗ്രാമപഞ്ചായത്തിന് വേണ്ടി എല്ലാവരെയും അഭിവാദ്യം ചെയ്യുന്നു ചൈൽഡ് ഫ്രണ്ട്ലി ലോക്കൽ ഗവേണൻസ് എന്ന വിഷയത്തെ ആസ്പദമാക്കി കില നടത്തുന്ന ഈ വെബിനാറിൽ ഏറെ അഭിമാനത്തോടെ ഞങ്ങൾ ഞങ്ങളുടെ ഗ്രാമപഞ്ചായത്തിനെ അവതരിപ്പിക്കുന്നു വളവട്ടം ഗ്രാമപഞ്ചായത്തിൻ്റെ 
ലൈബ്രറിയുടെ ചിൽഡ്രൻസ് ഫോറം തീർത്ത വിസ്മയകരമായ പ്രവർത്തനങ്ങളിൽ ഊന്നലകിക്കൊണ്ടുള്ളതാണ് ഞങ്ങളുടെ പ്രവർത്തനം കോവിഡ് കാലഘട്ടത്തിൽ ഞങ്ങളുടെ പഞ്ചായത്തിൻ പഞ്ചായത്തും ലൈബ്രറിയും കുട്ടികളെ നിർമ്മിച്ച അതിജീവനത്തിന്റെ ഒരു മാതൃക അത്രമേൽ അഭിമാനകരമാണ് വളപട്ടണം ഇസ് എ പ്ലേസ് റിച്ച് വിത്ത് ഇറ്റ്സ് ബയോഡൈവേഴ്സിറ്റി കൾച്ചർ ആൻഡ് ഹിസ്റ്റോറിക്കൽ ബാക്ക്ഗ്രൗണ്ട് out of the total population of 7955 2810 of them are children let us categorize the children according to their age let us see the major developmental issues of children gaps in immunization coverage single parenting due to migration to gulf countries drug abuse dropout of girl children from higher education pursuits lack of facilities for children of migrant laborers and lack of proper study facilities for children in some joint families we have been conducting special grama sabha of children since 2017 and the major suggestions from the grama sabha are give child rights awareness to parents programs for children in holidays for creative development ensure good facilities in schools ensure parks playgrounds cycle paths ensure exercise facility for girls conduct drug awareness programs start higher education guidance center gender training to boys reduce the weight of school bags and road safety we are keen to make a change in the living conditions through more social involvement of children through creative programs There are a lot of changes happening among the children in the Valabattanam Grama Panchayat. The modern construction of Valabattanam High Secondary School building has been completed with the use of KIFBI fund. There is a park and open library near the Valabattanam river side. Family Health Center of Valabattanam has all modern facilities including child friendly immunization hall. Football coaching classes are also conducted by a club in the playground of Valabattanam Grama Panchayat. We are also able to maintain the immunization coverage rate as 73% with the intervention of health workers and grama panchayat authorities. We are conducting various awareness programs to bridge the gap and fulfill the aim of achieving 100% immunization. One of the major recommendations that arose from the children's grama sabha was to provide proper guidance for proper parenting. It was at most important that every home be aware of the problems faced by children there is a need for parents to know about their children's health development partnership and protection thus the grama panchayat library became the hub of learning on the basis of this recommendation valabattanam grama panchayat library started parenting school in 2017 we already conducted eight training programs and awareness classes during the year 2017-19 our children's forum presented a study about the approaches and attitude of parents towards their children after these sessions a very visible change could be seen among the parents the valapattanam grama panchayat library children's forum is an institutional model for children more than 500 children are a part of it we conduct more than 50 programs annually for children creative homes defeat covid is a special intervention through library to help children overcome the covid lockdown we also conduct summer camps which has school based programs and play activities we have a park and a park library a special program for the 7th class students through library is named as unarva race campaign against drug abuse is also a main area of focus the grama panchayat library conducted a program in the name of my india yours too participating the children of migrant laborers from other states i'm nadamaria secretary of children's forum every year valabattanam library conducts minimum 15 programs combined with valabattanam schools School literary platforms like the Gyanam Gap Clubs are also conducting programs combined with library. Library visiting and library orientation classes are also conducted as a part of this. Children's cooperation between each other helps to develop their reading habits. Of the inauguration of Reading Month celebration is taking part in library. The closing ceremony will be in Gyanam Gap Clubs High Secondary Schools. 
ഞാൻ ആദിത്യ ടി ഇ ലൈബ്രറിയുടെ ചിൽഡ്രൻസ് ഫോറത്തിന്റെ വൈസ് പ്രസിഡന്റ് ആണ് ഈ കഴിഞ്ഞ എസ് എൽ സി പരീക്ഷ എല്ലാ വിഷയത്തിലും മുഴുവൻ എ പ്ലസ് എനിക്ക് കിട്ടിയിട്ടുണ്ട് ചിൽഡ്രൻസ് ഫോറം പരിപാടികളുടെ കോർഡിനേഷൻ ഞാൻ വളരെ ആസ്വദിച്ച് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് അതെന്റെ വിജയത്തിനേറെ സഹായിച്ചിട്ടുമുണ്ട് വി കണ്ടക്ടഡ് സമ്മർ വെക്കേഷൻ ക്യാമ്പ്സ് ഫോർ ചിൽഡ്രൻ എവറി ഇയർ ദ പ്രോഗ്രാംസ് ആർ കോർഡിനേറ്റഡ് ആൻഡ് എക്സിക്യൂട്ടഡ് ബൈ ചിൽഡ്രൻ ഗ്രാമപഞ്ചായത്ത് ലൈബ്രറി മൂവായിരത്തി അഞ്ഞൂറിലധികം പുസ്തകങ്ങളാണ് കുട്ടികളുടെ വിഭാഗത്തിൽ മാത്രമായുള്ളത് എല്ലാ വർഷവും ഞങ്ങൾ കുട്ടികൾ ലൈബ്രറിയുടെ നേതൃത്വത്തിൽ ഒരു പുസ്തകോത്സവ യാത്ര നടത്താറുണ്ട് രണ്ടായിരത്തി പതിനാറിൽ ആരംഭിച്ച ഈ ഒരു സംരംഭ പ്രവർത്തനം ഇന്ന് കണ്ണൂർ ജില്ലയിൽ ഇരുപതിലധികം ലൈബ്രറികൾ ഏറ്റെടുത്ത് നടത്തുന്നു അങ്ങനെ ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് ആവശ്യമുള്ള പുസ്തകങ്ങൾ ഞങ്ങൾ തന്നെ തിരഞ്ഞെടുത്ത് വായിക്കുന്നു An innovative project of the Valapattinam Grama Panchayat Library in the year 2019-20 was named as UNARV Children's Library Comprehensive Activities. The aim of the project was to lead children to comprehensive personality development. The targeted group was the seven standard students of the Valapattinam Grama Panchayat. As a part of this initiative, workshops were conducted, diaries for book appreciation and observations were also distributed. കോവിഡ് ലോക്ഡൌൺ വിറ്റ്നസ്ഡ് ഐസൊലേഷൻ ഓഫ് ചിൽഡ്രൻ ദ യൂഷൽ ആക്ടിവിറ്റീസ് ഓഫ് ലൈബ്രറി കെയിം ടു എ സ്റ്റാൻഡ് സ്റ്റിൽ ടു ഹെൽപ്പ് ചിൽഡ്രൻ ഓവർകം ദിസ് ഐസൊലേഷൻ ആൻഡ് ബ്രിങ് ഔട്ട് ദിയർ ക്രിയേറ്റീവ് പൊട്ടൻഷ്യൽസ് വി സ്റ്റാർട്ടഡ് എ വെർച്വൽ പ്ലാറ്റ്ഫോം നെയിംഡ് ക്രിയേറ്റീവ് ഹോംസ് ഡിഫീറ്റ് കോവിഡ് It was started on March 22nd a day before the lockdown started in India around 200 children were members of this virtual platform they are grouped into seven teams with a mentor and a leader leadership models in new normal life production of mask sanitizers surveys studies contributions to cmdrf were some of the activities carried out by the children Online study facilities through children's initiative is also to be noted as an important activity. We consider this as a model of children's unity for survival. Creative activities, publications, videos, cultural fest and more than 6000 creations have come up through this group. Nanida, COVID karate video attu pattu povuna avasthe mari kadakkanam schoolile padivu kootukarku purame puthu saurudham undakkuvane engalukku kelli. I am Muhammad Nehan, a member of Children's Forum Committee. We know that mask is essential during this pandemic period. Before the government started an awareness program, we had developed an uh, awareness video about, regarding this. Hello, I am a member of Children's Forum Committee. 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 ചിൽഡ്രൻ ഓഫ് അ ക്രിയേറ്റീവ് ഹോംസ് ഹാസ് ഡെവലപ്ഡ് ഇ ലേണിംഗ് റിസോഴ്സസ് ഫോർ ദി ഡിഫറെന്റ് ക്ലാസസ് വി ഓൾസോ പ്രിപ്പയർഡ് സെവൻ മെമ്മറി ബുക്സ് ബേസ്ഡ് ഓൺ ദ മെമ്മറീസ് ഷെയർഡ് ബൈ ദ ഗ്രാൻഡ് പേരൻസ് 500 saplings were planted by our group members on the occasion of World Environment Day. I am Aman, member of Children Forum Committee. We wanted to do something to raise money for helping people during this pandemic. So, we decided to make these bookmarks. We sold these bookmarks in our neighborhood and were able to collect 50,000, which we were able to contribute to towards Chief Minister's Fund. Creative Home Platform observed different national and international days like World Anti-Drug Day, Reading Day, World Music Day, Biodiversity Day, etc. Reading Month was inaugurated through online platform by the eminent writer Benjamin and concluded with the inspirational talk by Master Harun Karim, a visually impaired student who secured great achievement in the SSLC exam without the support of a scribe all these activities gave us to positive energy to overcome the pandemic situation of covid-19 activities of creative homes defeat covid were featured in the covid time global report of ifla international federation of library association and institutions we were one among the four libraries featured in their global report 
with the rich experience and confidence we gained through these activities we have decided to go ahead and function like a child friendly governance at its best the walapatnam grama panchayat and the library are all set to flourish we are not the leaders of tomorrow we are the leaders of today we will make a difference in the world well said walapatnam president and the team children are not the citizens of tomorrow they are today's citizens as well as today's leaders we appreciate your all good efforts thank you very much madam president and other members now let us move on to peravur grama panchayat again grama panchayat in north kerala of kannur district their child friendly activities are largely multi dimensional if you say the focus could be more on sports and agriculture it's like children's involvement in developmental activities so children becoming developmental agencies so proud to say that they also received the best child friendly grama panchayat award from the ministry of panchayat raj in 2019 and 20 madam president Gigi Joy and the team will make their presentation welcome. Hello everyone, namaskaram. I am Gigi Joy, Kannur jilele Peravur panchayat president ana. 34 point 1.0 chadrasara kilometer visthirnamulla Peravur panchayathile 2011le census pragaram 23704 janangal aanu adivasikkunnathu. Idil 18 vayasil thaaliyulla 5540 kuttigal nelavil undu. ബാല സൗഹൃദ പഞ്ചായത്താണ് പഞ്ചായത്തായിട്ടാണ് പേരാവർ പഞ്ചായത്ത് നിലകൊള്ളുന്നത് വോളിബോൾ ഇതിഹാസ താരം ജിമ്മി ജോർജിന്റെ നാടായത് കൊണ്ട് തന്നെ സ്പോർട്സ് മേഖലയെ ഫോക്കസ് ചെയ്തുകൊണ്ടുള്ള പ്രവർത്തനങ്ങളാണ് പഞ്ചായത്ത് ആ പദ്ധതി വെച്ച് നടത്തിക്കൊണ്ടു പോരുന്നത് പേരാവൂർ ഗ്രാമ പഞ്ചായത്ത് ഹാസ് സിക്സ്റ്റീൻ വാർഡ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് കവേഡ് നിയർലി തേർട്ടി ഫൈവ് കിലോമീറ്റേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് ഏരിയ ദേർ ആർ ഫൈവ് തൗസൻഡ് ഫൈവ് ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ആൻഡ് ഫോർട്ടി ചിൽഡ്രൻ ഇൻ ദ ജൂറിസ് ഡിക്ഷൻ ഓഫ് ദ പഞ്ചായത്ത് The major focus of child friendly panchayat includes the child immunization school dropout child abuses drug abuse children's gram sabha and agriculture the major issues includes the lacking interest of sports activities mobile phone addiction absenteeism of the tribal children lacking the physical strength of the children and the nutritional issues of the children The child friendly programs mainly include the children's grama sabha sports and games coaching standardized to playground organic farming in the school various scholarship programs for the disabled children activities to promote physical fitness of children and several tribal projects to reduce the absenteeism as part of this 24 anganwadis were changed to child friendly anganwadis Several coachings include the yoga and the martial arts were also started. As a result of all these activities, we won the national award for the best child friendly panchayat in the year of 2020. Kilel vechulla training session njangal aadhim aadhimai cheyathu. Panchayathil 16 wardilum kuttigalla grama sabha cheyuka ennalla irunnu. Aa grama sabhayil ninnum kuttigalla netrathathil oru vaada vishayangal urudirinju varunnathu njangal kaanvan vendi saarichu. ആധുനിക സാങ്കേതിക വിദ്യയുടെ സഹായത്തോടു കൂടിയുള്ള പരിശീലനങ്ങളുടെ അഭാവം ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് കാണുവാൻ വേണ്ടി സാധിച്ചു അതോടൊപ്പം കുട്ടികൾ മൊബൈൽ പോലുള്ള വിവര സാങ്കേതിക വിദ്യയിലേക്ക് മാറുന്നതായി ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് മാറുവാൻ വേണ്ടി സാധിച്ചു കുട്ടികൾ പറയുകയാണ് ഞങ്ങൾ സ്കൂളുകളിൽ പച്ചക്കറി കൃഷി നടത്തുവാൻ വേണ്ടി ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് അവസരം ഉണ്ടാക്കി തരണം അങ്ങനെ കാർഷിക മേഖലയിലേക്ക് ആ കുട്ടികളെ തിരിച്ചു കൊണ്ടുവരുവാനും അവിടെ കൃഷി ചെയ്ത കൃഷി ഫലം ഉപയോഗിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് ഉച്ചഭക്ഷണത്തിൽ ചോറിന് കറിയായി കൊടുക്കുന്നതിന് വേണ്ടിയുള്ള അവസരം ഉണ്ടാക്കണമെന്ന് കുട്ടികൾ പറയുകയാണ് ഞങ്ങൾ അംഗൻവാടികൾക്ക് മികച്ച രീതിയിൽ ബിൽഡിങ്ങുകൾ ഉണ്ടാക്കണമെന്ന നിർദ്ദേശങ്ങൾ വരികയാണ് ഇത്തരത്തിൽ നിർദ്ദേശങ്ങൾ വന്നതിന്റെ അടിസ്ഥാനത്തിലാണ് ഞങ്ങൾ വീണ്ടും കുട്ടികൾക്ക് വേണ്ടി പ്രൊജക്ടുകൾ തയ്യാറാക്കുവാൻ വേണ്ടി തീരുമാനിച്ചത് the hospital child friendly ward the children's ward at the taluk hospital has been converted into a child friendly ward with baby friendly painting playground and all other facilities this facility was set up free of cost by the family and friends of dr deepak who is the victim of nepal earthquake pediatric vaccination is 100% completed 
pregnant women are able to receive monthly checkups and complete the vaccination in a timely manner from the time of their birth to 15 years of age bpl cards are getting maternity benefits and also the children below the age of 18 are being provided the medical facilities include the medicines from outside the medical store as part of the project drug free panchayat a proclamation rally was organized in the town under the auspices of the peravur panchayat seminar and quiz competitions were also organized as part of this in the schools for the children under the auspices of peravur panchayat organic vegetable cultivations were started in all the schools under the panchayat the vegetables required for lunch were started in the respective schools water bell program this enabled the children of peravur panchayat in their schools to alleviate their fatigue alleviate their ailments and help the children to stay in class with enthusiasm each child brings boiled water from home on their own steel bottles and makes sure that all the children drink bottled water by the time the bell rings four times a day and they have finished drinking all the water by the evening Every year the panchayat conducts volleyball training for the children. The training is being led by Sebastian sir, a great volleyball player. We could find a lot of athletes in this area. While coaching these kids in a way, this will ensure their future is secure. There are also kids who stayed in the academy. Having the best coaches increases the likelihood of this activity. The governing body of the panchayat has been conducting football training since its inception. The children are being trained from the Kunitala school grounds under the leadership of the Red Star Club by a teacher from the same school. About 125 children are participating in the training which will be held from 6 am to 7:30 am. The panchayat is providing the facilities they need as part of the project. Many children benefit from this as they strive to increase their mental and physical abilities. The academy was inaugurated by our health minister Shailaj teacher and many children are mastering this martial art. They are a role model for every child who clings to information technology at home such as mobile while helping their children to develop their flexibility and build a healthy body and thereby develop their intelligence. The institution provides all the necessary assistance to these children to cope with these activities through a regular lifestyle. Many children including boys and girls acquire all the skills to defend themselves then they became its trainers we were assisted in organizing this project under the leadership of remesan sir the fire force staff of peravur panchayat itself this project was implemented as part of the realization that swimming is necessary and inevitable for the children physical fitness training The boys training will be held free of cost at the Jimmy George Stadium from 6:30 a.m. to 8:30 a.m. About 200 children have been trained. The project called Tudi Kotte is introduced for the prevention of dropouts in the tribal settings of Peravur Panchayat. The teachers were allotted for the whole tribal colonies and they have the duty to teach the tribal students from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. They are also giving the special assistance to the children who are marginalized in the society. They are also assure the whole process of schooling including the transportation and the food facilities. Through this project we could reduce the school dropout of the tribal children. Ingane kutikala chertha narathi parishilana nalgidinte bhagamayittu njangale pravartanathinte ella migavinte adisthanathile Madhya Pradeshil Gwaliyaril vechu ബാല സൗഹൃദ ദേശീയ ശില്പശാല നടന്നപ്പോൾ ആ ശില്പശാലയിൽ കേരളത്തെ പ്രതിനിധീകരിച്ച് രണ്ടാളുകൾ പങ്കെടുത്തപ്പോൾ അതിൽ ഒരാളായി പേരാവർ പഞ്ചായത്ത് നടപ്പിലാക്കിയ പ്രൊജക്ടുകൾ രാജ്യത്തിന് തന്നെ മാതൃകയാവുന്ന രീതിയിൽ അവതരിപ്പിക്കുവാൻ വേണ്ടി ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് സാധിക്കുകയുണ്ടായി അങ്ങനെ ഞങ്ങൾ പ്രവർത്തനം നടത്തുമ്പോൾ ആ പ്രവർത്തനത്തിന്റെ മികവ് കണ്ടെത്തിയതുകൊണ്ടാകാം രണ്ടായിരത്തി ഇരുപതിലെ മികച്ച ബാലസൗഹൃദ പഞ്ചായത്ത് എന്ന അവാർഡും പേരാവർ പഞ്ചായത്തിനെ തന്നെ തേടിയെത്തുകയുണ്ടായി ഈ കോവിഡ് കാലത്തും പേരാവർ പഞ്ചായത്തിലെ കുട്ടികൾ വിശ്രമമില്ലാതെ തിരക്കിലായിരുന്നു അവർക്ക് ഓൺലൈൻ സർഗോത്സവത്തിലൂടെ വിവിധ തരത്തിലുള്ള പരിപാടികൾ നടത്തിക്കൊണ്ട് പതിനെട്ട് വയസ്സിൽ താഴെയുള്ള 
മുഴുവൻ കുട്ടികളെയും അതിൽ പങ്കാളികളായിട്ടുള്ള പ്രവർത്തനം നടത്തിയപ്പോൾ ഞങ്ങൾ പെരാമ പഞ്ചായത്ത് ഭരണസമിതിയും ചാരിതാർത്ഥിയാണ് ഇക്കാര്യത്തിൽ ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് ഇതിന് അവസരം നൽകിയത് കിലയിൽ വെച്ച് ട്രെയിനിങ് നൽകിയപ്പോൾ പദ്ധതിയുടെ അഞ്ച് ശതമാനം തുകയും കുട്ടികൾക്ക് വേണ്ടി ചെലവഴിക്കണമെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞപ്പോൾ അത് അക്ഷരാർത്ഥത്തിൽ നടപ്പിലാക്കി കൊണ്ടുപോകുവാൻ വേണ്ടി ഞങ്ങളെ സഹായിച്ചത് കിലയിൽ നിന്നും ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് കിട്ടിയ ട്രെയിനിങ് ആണ് ഈ ട്രെയിനിങ്ങിൽ ഞങ്ങളെ സഹായിച്ച ഞങ്ങളുടെ മെൻ്റർ ആർ പി ശാന്തമ ടീച്ചർ കില ഡയറക്ടർ കിലയിലെ മറ്റ് ഭാരവാഹികൾ മുഴുവൻ ആളുകൾക്കും ഞങ്ങളെ നന്ദിയും കടപ്പാടും അറിയിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് നിർത്തുന്നു നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഏവർക്കും എന്റെ അഭിവാദനങ്ങൾ Thank you. Thank you, Peravar, for your unique interventions. Now we move on to Kolari Grama Panchayat in Trishur district. Kolari, the speciality of this particular panchayat is they have been arranging a lot of public space for children and children thereby are getting the capacity to become decision makers. This panchayat also got the best child friendly gram panchayat award from the ministry of panchayat raj during the year 2018 and 19 welcome sri p g unnikrishnan the president of the gram panchayat and srimadi jessi lonapen the vice president of the gram panchayat for your presentation ellavarkum namaskaram yan p g unnikrishnan kolai gram panchayat president 2017 പതിനെട്ടിലെ ബാലസൗഹൃദ തദ്ദേശ ഭരണത്തിനുള്ള പ്രഥമ ദേശീയ പുരസ്കാരം കോലേ ഗ്രാം പഞ്ചായത്തിന് ലഭിക്കുകയുണ്ടായി ഡീറ്റെയിൽസ് ഓഫ് വേരിയസ് ആക്ടിവിറ്റീസ് ഫ്രം ടു തൗസൻഡ് സിക്സ്റ്റീൻ ഇൻസ്റ്റെഡ് ഓഫ് ഫൈവ് പെർസെന്റ് ഓഫ് ദ ഡെവലപ്മെന്റ് ഫണ്ട് അബൌട്ട് ഫോർട്ടി പെർസെന്റ് ഓഫ് ദ ഫണ്ട് ഈസ് ഇയർ മാർക്ക് ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ റുപ്പീസ് സെവന്റി ടു ലാക്ക് ട്വന്റി നയൻ തൗസൻഡ് എയ്റ്റ് ഹൺഡ്രഡ് തേർട്ടി ഡ്യൂറിംഗ് ടു തൗസൻഡ് എയ്റ്റീൻ നയൻറ്റീൻ ഞാൻ ജസ്സി ലോനപ്പൻ കോലടി ഗ്രാമപഞ്ചായത്തിൽ വൈസ് പ്രസിഡന്റ് സി എഫ് എൽ ജിയുടെ രണ്ടായിരത്തി പതിനാറ് മുതലുള്ള പ്രവർത്തനങ്ങളാണ് ഇവിടെ പറയാൻ പോകുന്നത് ചൈൽഡ് ഫ്രണ്ട്ലി കോലടി ഗ്രാമപഞ്ചായത്ത് കതിർമണികൾ ചൈൽഡ് ഫ്രണ്ട്ലി കോലടി child population child friendly kolari gram panchayat significance suggestions from children's gram sabha child friendly programs and activities achievements
ബെസ്റ്റ് ചൈൽഡ് ഫ്രണ്ടിലി ഗ്രാമപഞ്ചായത്ത് അവാർഡ് സിവിൽ സർവീസ് ട്രെയിനിങ് ബാലമേള ആൻഡ് ബാലസഭ ടൂർ ദ ഗ്രീൻ സ്കൂൾ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് പോലീസ് കാരറ്റ് സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ലെവൽ അവാർഡ് സെറമണി Maths lab and smart classroom in government LP school Kuttu to a smart classroom in government high secondary school. So also staff plants, butterfly garden and herbal garden. Members of UNICEF, Straight Child Right Commission, Administrative Reforms Committee Extra, Visitor Colliery Panchayat. Feeding room attached to friend office, modernized Ankhan Wadis. morning meal in up school and hands presence of students and standard of learning various programs to sustain cflg empowerment of jagrata samiti expansion of existing 49 balasabhas which include about 1050 children students have been provided with television and smartphones facilitations for agricultural and poultry activities scholarship for artistic performance of students sex ratio of 0 to 6 children 1004 is an achievement service of students of bsw msw and nss from st mary's college trishu is ensured continuous vigilance of police and excise departments awareness programs against substance use plans for 100% restriction of birth and vaccination special drive to reduce dropout rate of students various sub committees and monitoring committee for evaluation and appropriate action gram sabha of children is active and effective ഇതുവരെ കോലേ ഗ്രാം പഞ്ചായത്തിനോട് സഹകരിച്ച എല്ലാവർക്കും പ്രത്യേകിച്ച് കിലയ്ക്കും തദ്ദേശ സ്വയംഭരണ വകുപ്പിനും കോലേ ഗ്രാമ പഞ്ചായത്തിന്റെ നന്ദി അറിയിച്ചു കൊള്ളുന്നു താങ്ക് യു പ്രസിഡന്റ് ആൻഡ് ദ ടീം മെമ്പേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് ദി കോലേ ഗ്രാമ പഞ്ചായത്ത് ഫോർ യുവർ വെരി യുനീക് ഇനിഷ്യേറ്റീവ്സ് നൗ വി മൂവ് ഓൺ ടു ദ പ്രസന്റേഷൻ ബൈ രാമപുരം ഗ്രാമ പഞ്ചായത്ത് ഇൻ കോട്ടയം ഡിസ്ട്രിക്ട് എമിറ്റ് സെവറൽ അതർ തിങ്സ് the grama panchayat ramapuram is focusing on evolving child leadership they invest lot among the children to make them leaders of today and that's how their involvement is very visible in all the development activities of the grama panchayat in fact they have a special child focal point in the grama panchayat office itself so we welcome mr byju john the president of the grama panchayat and mr jeans nath the health and education standing committee chairperson for the presentation kila nalgiya bala sahurda aashayangal vastavathil njangal janapratinidhigalde vigasana kaalchapaadugaleyana maati marichathu vigasanam ennal kevalam road thod palangal mudalaayavikku ubariyayi mattu paladum koodiyanannu njangal tirichirunnu അതിൽ പ്രധാനം കുട്ടികളുടെ വികസനം തന്നെയാണ് രാമപുരം ദ കൾച്ചറൽ ക്യാപിറ്റൽ ഓഫ് കോട്ടയം ഡിസ്ട്രിക്ട് ഇൻ കേരള ദ ഇന്റർവെൻഷൻ ഓഫ് സൊസൈറ്റി അറ്റ് ലാർജ് ഇൻ ദ വെൽ ബീങ് ഓഫ് ഇറ്റ് ചിൽഡ്രൻ ഇസ് എ സ്ട്രോങ് ഇൻഡിക്കേറ്റർ ഓഫ് എഫേർട്സ് ഓഫ് എ സിവിലൈസ് സൊസൈറ്റി ചിൽഡ്രൻ ആർ ദ അസെറ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ സൊസൈറ്റി റദർ ദാൻ ദ ബിലോങ് ടു ദ ഫാമിലി ഓർ റിലീജിയൻ All the expenses taken for the well-being of our children are investments to the nation building rather than expenditure. In 
in 1992, we have signed the Treaty of Child Rights approved by UNICEF in 1989. As per this treaty, survival, development, security, and participation are the birthright of all the children born here, and ensuring that is the first and foremost responsibility of the government. Let's have a look into the details of initiatives taken in these four vast areas, namely survival, development, security, and participation by Gramapuram Gramma Panchayat. Survival. Nutritious food ensured from pregnancy. Preventive vaccinations are ensured. Prevention of malnutrition. Bird school and physiotherapy centers for differently abled children. Ensuring clean drinking water. Ensuring morning meal in primary schools. <clears throat> Development. Improvement of infrastructure in pre-primary schools from Anganwadis. Empowered school reading. Improvement of playgrounds in schools. Ensured equipments for entertainment in schools. Construction of children's parks. Workshops conducted in training in arts and sports. Workshops, seminars, debates and discussions ensured for freedom of expression and free thinking. Security. Ensure children are free from child labor, exploitation and abuses. Ensure security of children from the hands of narcotic drug mafia. Awareness classes and seminars conducted. Special consideration to physically challenged and others who deserve special attention. Ensure no child marriage is happening. Free children from helplessness and atrocities against them. Participation. Interventions in ward and panchayat limit balasabhas to ensure effective participation of children. Membership of children's representatives are ensured in working groups of different projects. Separate clubs for adolescent girls in Anganwadis. Togetherness of children in Anganwadis in every second Saturday to get involved in creative activities. Ensuring active participation of children in workshops and seminars. The happiness and energy we have obtained in childhood from an unpolluted nature and a secure mind are the roads through which our life journey should progress. Ramapuram Gramma Panchayat is taking all the efforts to ensure the taste and beauty of sharing and caring to the new generation. As a first step, get together of children were arranged in Anganwadis in all the 18 wards of the Panchayat. Panchayat development seminars were conducted ensuring participation of children elected from the get together. Special working groups are formed to identify and solve the problems and challenges children face. A special officer is appointed in Panchayat level only for children to receive complaints and take necessary actions. The most important experience in the efforts of Panchayat in making Ramapuram a Balasavita Panchayat that is children friendly was a three days workshop, Sablami Balya conducted participating children between the age group of 10 to 18, selected from all the 18 wards of the Panchayat. The subjects included organic farming, history of Ramapuram, dangers of not observing traffic rules, green protocol, the necessity of scientific timber, awareness regarding drug abuse, the positives and negatives of social media, healthy living, music appreciation, biodiversity, and personality development. The validatory function conducted by the participants themselves on the last day was really overwhelming and spoke about the value addition of the program. The children converted the program as a complete review of the entire three days workshop. The performance of the children was substantiating the tagline of the workshop, Sapalami Balyam, Let's know and feel, celebrate friendship and bring light. The skits demonstrated by the children on recharging of wells, getting rid of plastic waste, the meaninglessness of the division through caste and religion were loudly applauded.
Another memorable event was a symposium, Lessons from Flood and Reconstruction of Kerala. More than 160 children participated in this symposium. The symposium was inaugurated by MG University Vice Chancellor Dr. Sabu Thomas. The Secretary of Shastra Sahitya Parishad, Mr. Joji Kotamal, presented a paper on lessons from flood and reconstruction of Kerala. Estimated benefits gained by children. Experienced the sweetness of cooperation and sharing. Fruitful interactions of children with veterans. Substantial improvements in leadership qualities and confidence level. Came to know about hygienic environment, the importance of recharging wells, villain named plastic, eco-friendly agriculture. Children prepared and propagated posters on protection and management of drinking water, disposal of plastic waste, cleaning before the monsoons, and protection of nature. A skit squad was formed to promote the ideas of well recharging, waste disposal, and development of humanity. Abhishek Nambudiri, the coordinator of the Balasabha, was elected president of the Children's Parliament and read the government policy statement in the old assembly hall in recognition to the child friendly Grama Panchayat workshop of our Panchayat. Conclusion Inspired by the motivation and ideas by Killa, in January 2017, the child-friendly activities formed by Ramapuram Grama Panchayat are continuing in an exemplary manner. The mindsets of people's representatives have changed from the illusion that development to the society is not just construction of a road, bridge or a building. It is the development of children of the society. Many successful projects were designed under the mentorship of Safalam 55 Plus, a consortium of retirees from various fields. Through the child-friendly activities, Ramapuram Panchayat could influence very much the vision and approach to life of new generation. Through our child-friendly activities, Ramapuram Panchayat could influence very much the vision and approach to life of new generation. Now the children are more confident and active because they feel safe as the panchayat and whole society stand for the welfare and well-being in the key four sectors like survival, development, protection and participation. In addition, environmental protection, waste disposal, avoidance of plastic in a phased manner, upkeep of public places, compassion, rights and duties, awareness about liquor and narcotics are important areas where the presence and intervention are inevitable. Thank you, Ramavaram Gram Panjayat, the team from Central Kerala. Central Kerala. In fact, uh, we offer special thanks to your retirees who work with you voluntarily. Now we move on to Katakada Gram Panchayat in Trivandrum district, the southmost end of Kerala. In fact, they have multi-sectoral interventions and with a more specificity to promotion of child-friendly institutions, including you know, you know, hospitals, the playgrounds the Anganwadi schools, etc. Welcome, Madam Ajida, the President, and the Panjait member, Advocate Sanal Bose, for the presentation. Balasago the Panjaitan of Samanich Parayan, Angle Kilil Kitty training in the Adistanathil, School of Galilim, Adopole Kutigal de Vitilula, Dechar Takal de Prothanathilum, Jagra the Samadhi, Padre Sekta Mai, Namra Panjaitan Kundu the Tund. Kutil Kavisha Maya, Yella, Saukering on the Malak, Ashutri the Nedal than area, Moon the hospital under the Makola, Sarkarande, Moon the hospital in the Mala, Balasaguru the Panchayat and the Pahamai, Karamali Sudinrisar, Vandul Kadan Narati, Yang Kabalasaguru the Panchayat and the Prakavan on the edit. Nadi to the Mada Panjadle. Adinda Dama de Til Tanel, Marichuoya Linida, Nipapa, and even the Marichuoya Linida Peril. Namala Park, Stavikin, and the Karinitunda, Angan Vadical Church, Tramara Old Padula, Kiting Lamkuchi, and Karinitunda. Katakada Gramma Panjayat is situated in the eastern part of Trivandrum district. It is having its own rich cultural, historical, social, commercial, educational medicine. It adds one more golden feather in its crown when it was declared as a comprehensive child-friendly Gramma Panjayat on 2nd October 2018 by Honorable Minister Sri Kadagambali Surendra. This is the fruit of selfless, whole-fledged cooperation between 
organized various departments and the panchayat. Let's have a quick look towards our basic information. A complete survival, development, security and participation of kids are our targeted missions. We have 38 Anganwadis with own building, trained teachers and infrastructure facilities with national standard. We are polishing the germs in the very beginning of their academic and imparting them apt direction to their life, special care to adults, kids, adolescents in view of nutritional food, mental health and personality development. 100% antenal registration and above 18 years pregnancy are fully registered with the help of 29 ASAs of Family Health Center Amateur and assure the timely issue of MCP cards as well as government schemes to beneficiaries. Our next aim to make two of our Anganwadis to model Anganwadi. There is a total of 21 schools in government and private sectors from the primary level to higher secondary level. The Panjayat did earnest efforts developing the infrastructure facilities and fundamental needs like parks, organic agriculture gardens with medicinal plants, smart classrooms, martial arts training, various maths and science work experiment. Yoga, waste disposal, transportation and special classes on personality and career development. All educational institutions has got PTA and report committees and regularly monitored by LSGD and Jagrada Samiti. We ensure all facilities to children of guest labors. By utilizing the MLA LADS funds under OPPAM project, girl student friendly rooms in all high schools to provide privacy for adolescent girls with adequate napkin vending machines. We strongly endorse the full fledged activities of student police cadet in IEC activities, traffic rules education, source reduction activities during communicable disease, and in palliative care of elderly persons. Participation of student police cadet in palliative care, first ever initiative in India by our family health center leadership. By conducting special grammar sabha of children from different schools on yearly manner since 2017. And constituted Bala Parliament. Grama Sabha for differently abled children on yearly at Panjayat level. The emphasis of administration decentralization was imparted to the children. Since 2017, every year, the Children's Bala Parliament has got unique recommendations to annual projects of our LSGD. Almost all schools has constitutes different types, adolescent clubs, namely nature, sports, mechanical, science, etc. The children's grammar sapa was convened in all wards, special youth festivals, sports and games event for differently able children takes place for the last three years in our LSGD. Monthly sitting of Jagrada Samiti is conducting from 
3rd January 2017 without fail. Through this, various campaigns were taken up with the child line and did further follow up. In coordination with the Health Department, Universal Immunization in Schools as well as Field Level is conducting in a regular schedule and we have achieved 100% immunization standards. Our local self-government has been conducting special program to fight against anemia in all schools. As a part of prevention of communicable disease and non-communicable disease, medical camps were conducted in all educational institutions. Regular standardization of drinking water taking place in all educational and government institutions. Water level sanitization works and source reduction activities were conducted in the leadership of student police cadets by the direction of Ward Level Health Sanitization and Nutrition Committee. Pleasant Medical Health Clinic conducted thrice a week in our family health center routinely. All three scanning centers strictly follows Pre-Consumption and Prenatal Diagnostic Techniques Act and norms. We proudly present our major projects. We are here with some of our key projects and plans. some of our model activities. some of our model activities. In this crucial corona season, the Panjayat along with old school children tried our best to prevent and to protect from coronavirus. Thank you. Thank you very much for your valuable supports. In this moment, we would like to thank all persons behind our success. Thank you very much for watching our presentation. Thank you, Katakada, for your uh, very good uh, work. Now we move on to Kotakil Municipality uh, from North Kerala. Kotakil Municipality is uh, always been promoting the child-centric planning and the focus area could be child health and education of children. Here with us is respected municipal chairperson, chairman, Mr. K.K. Nasser. Welcome, sir, for your presentation. Good morning, all. I'm K.K. Nasser, municipal chairman, Gautakil. First of all, let me share my thanks to all the organizers who were invited for the webinar on the Child Friendly Kerala. Hi, I'm Niranjana KK. I'm the leader of uh, Child Friendly Local Governments, Cortical Municipality. I'm so glad to inform you that we are conducting very well discussions with the cooperation of Cortical Municipality and our public. And we are also participating in uh, the WhatsApp bus and working groups. And they are giving prior importance to our suggestions. We are so thankful to Kila Manpos and our chairman, Kautagil Municipality, 
and also we will continue this with more perfections thank you kotikal is a municipal town in malappuram district in kerala southern india having 32 wards it is located 12 km southwest of malappuram the district headquarters and 15.5 km from thiru railway station coming to the statistics total number of wards are 32 total population is 48342 child population is 16158 which is about 33 percentage of our total population since they hold a big percentage we did a lot of programs to solve the existing problems faced by the children the main projects are enhancing the immunization percentage to hunted up to the age of 5 years promising child friendly atmosphere in all our public health institutions and other institutions allotting permanent buildings to all anchor bodies that doesn't have a permanent building setting parks stadium and playground for physical and mental well-being of our children allotting funds for their overall well-being provide opportunities to frame their needs by make them participate on various whatsapps working group and special development seminars enhancing their english skill by distributing english malayalam dictionaries to all students distributed bicycles to the children to enhance their physical activities these are given to 3500 children by allotting 10 lakh rupees conducted various football coaching camps renovated five anchor bodies at koreyur palatara wolia paramba papai and east willur to high tech model by public contributions allotted development fund for various projects for the basic needs of children allotted 1 crore 27 lakh 22,457 in the year of 2016 to 2017 to crown 28 lakh 32,408 in the year of 2017 to 2018 four crore 43 lakh 80,180 in the year of 2018 to 2019 4 crore 52 lakh 67783 in the year of 2019 to 2020 children made their participation at community kitchen which was working for the laborers from other states during covid pandemic all the programs are conducted with great public participations and with their big acceptance myself kirtan join kanneer of child friendly local governance in kotakam municipality we are participating in community kitchen for migrant laborers regarding covid 19 thank you for all myself hisha mohammed can join kanneer of cfg kotakam municipality we are participating all programs of cfg kotakam municipality thank you for all Our Honorable Minister Dr. Thomas Eisen released 20 points development program prepared by our Kotakal Municipal Council. Special ward sabhas are conducted in 32 wards twice in a year. 61 percentage of children make their participation during in the ward sabhas. They put forward one not one suggestions. This was approved by the municipal council and accordingly prepared the projects. 
Fifteen working groups are conducted by giving importance to children and also conducted development seminars. Distributed health cards and conducted health checkups among 4,000 children for promoting their complete well-being. Able to reach the immunization status among children to 93.3 percentage, which was 60 percentage before. Hence, our overall achievements are raise the immunization status to 93.3 percentage from 60 percentage. Given immunization to 1,768 children, only 6.7 percentage is not immunized. Conducted meeting and awareness among religious leaders to boost the immunization status more. Given 10 marks as bonus for the families who completed immunization program among their children for beneficiary selection for giving the benefits from the municipality. Renovated CHC using 3.5 crore from MP fund, which was established in the year 1980s. Received Kayakalpa Award for CHC's meritorious service. Coming to the future plans of Cortical Municipality, Activities will be formulated to improve the health and education standard of the children of Kotekal Municipality. Toilets and urinals will be constructed in schools as required. Children's parks and swimming pools will be set up to enhance sportsmanship. Children will be given the opportunity to make suggestions for the project activities of the municipality. Government agencies and public institutions in the municipality will take necessary steps to make them child friendly. Thank you all the delegates, Kila Director, Dr. Joey Elman and Dr. M. Peter Raj and other participants in the, this program. Thanks again, given me opportunity and participated in the webinar. And special thanks to Mr. Gam Rashi, Kila External Faculty. Thank you, Cortical Municipal Chairperson and the team for your good work. Now we move on to the presentation by District Panjai Trishur in Central Kerala. The speciality is how a district is trying to emerge as a child-friendly district with the effective coordination of all the local governments of a given district. So here comes uh, a local government evolving as a district leader and all role a district planning committee can play in that affair. So welcome, Madam Mary Thomas, District Panjait President Trishur and the Chairperson DPC Trishur. Hello, Namaskar. Deshiya Seminar Lake Swagat. Nyan Mary Thomas, Trishu Jilla Panjaiti, Prisnet. Children's well-being, prosperity, health and education are the responsibilities of government at different tiers. As we know, children have four fundamental rights, survival, development, protection and participation. With the aim to avail these four fundamental rights to the children, the Trishur District Panchayat has developed the Child Friendly District Program. The District Planning Committee and the District Panchayat in collaboration with various institutions like KILA designed projects. Through close discussion with our local self-governments of Trishu, we prepared a district plan for the same. 
under the action plan special projects for children were prepared for the comprehensive development of children one of the important project was the creation of database of children through web portal the status of children in the age group between 0 to 18 was collected and compiled the status of early childhood development school enrollment healthy school surrounding level of child participation child abuse etc can also be understood from 18 indicators provided in the web portal all the 86 grama panchayats 16 block panchayats seven municipalities and one corporation actively participated in uploading the data of children through ICT enabled web portal the district panchayat as well as other local bodies could make use of the data for planning today at the touch of a finger data on the conditions of children in trishur district is available to us through the web portal our first priority was children in the age group between 0 to 3 years as a part of this for the first time in kerala in collaboration with the lsds social justice department and mgnr gs we were able to complete 200 smart child friendly anganwadis in this time frame we were able to set up water purifiers and air conditioners in all anganwadis and schools the next priority was improving the environmental conditions of schools provision of good toilets distribution of napkins to teenage girls initiatives to reduce mental trauma in children through psychosocial counseling were some of the programs the supply of hygienic napkins at schools through vending machines were made cost effective through local manufacturing of the same through women's local initiative vending machine and incinerator were also set up through this we were able to provide a child friendly comfortable space in schools to teenage girls provision for providing safe drinking water playing facilities experimental labs smart classrooms were set up in every schools we were able to open up a science museum named vikyan sagar which was an effort to inculcate scientific interest among children and also to provide exposure in scientific achievements for children and public for creating a science curious community of children we were setting up science parks in schools in order to develop an inclusive society prevention and control of disabilities are given priority in the child friendly district plan early identification detection diagnosis and intervention services for all children with differentially ability is conceived as a major project in trishu for this purpose a project called shubhapti or district disability resource center has set up by district panchayat for detecting mental and physical disabilities in children at an early age and creating a center for their mothers to work independently the district panchayat is ensuring scholarship and supply of aids and appliances to children with differentially ability Trishu district panchayat is doing very significant initiatives to protect the rights of children. Trishu district panchayat has produced IEC material and exhibited in various locations of the district. This is to view public awareness of child friendliness to ensure the right to participation. Bala sabhas are constituted in every local governments. Through bala sabhas programs are being planned to educate children on their rights and responsibilities special grama sabhas for children are convened in all grama panchayats and municipalities another major issue faced by children is substance abuse to prevent this the schools are declared zero on prohibiting sale of abusive substance Trishu district panchayat has won the best district panchayat in India of the Ministry of Panchayat Raj Government of India Achievements of Trishu district panchayat increased child sex ratio from 1950 to 1968 specific intervention in malnutrition children improving their status early intervention to identify the disability in children by conducting medical camps 
मोबिलाइजेशन ऑफ सोसाइटी अबाउट चाइल्ड फ्रेंडली कॉन्सेप्ट फ्यूचर प्लान ऑफ त्रिशूर डिस्ट्रिक्ट पंचायत कंप्लीशन ऑफ डी डी आर सी अपडेशन ऑफ वेब पोर्टल एवरी ईयर अपग्रेडेशन ऑफ ऑल आंगनेवाड़ीज बाई इम्प्लांटिंग एयर कंडीशनर्स एंड वाटर प्यूरिफायर्स स्ट्रेंथनिंग ऑफ स्पेशल ग्राम सभा फॉर चिल्ड्रन फॉर्मेशन एंड स्ट्रेंथनिंग ऑफ जागरता समिति फॉर प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ चिल्ड्रन रिवर्सिंग सेक्स रेशियो समयति परमि वाले कुछ क्यों निर्मी पकोष प्रकटिपरवस अनुबंध स्थापना त्रृशूर् जिला पंचायत पेरूल नंदी कड़पा अच्छी या नंदी thank you uh we had uh, over to trivandrum dr joy director general kila thank you very much thank you very much we had uh, eminent seven presentations and uh, now we have we are going to hear from three panelists who are going to reflect on the presentation made by five gram panchayats and uh, one municipality and uh, finally the trichur district panchayat let me now invite uh, swimadi shobha koshi former chairperson of kerala state commission for protection of child rights mrs shobha koshi good afternoon uh, may i first thank kila and the other organizers for inviting me and giving me this chance to Uh, here first hand about the work that is being done by the local self government institute uh, initiative the child friendly local panchayat initiative uh, i have been in some ways a fellow traveler of this initiative way back from 19 i mean 2015 and i have seen it grow till not only uh, during my tenure in up to 2018 but i have even followed it thereafter being part of a whatsapp group and uh, it is one of the groups whose activities i follow diligently every day uh, by 2017 when the rest of the country woke up to the idea of child friendly local governance uh, and the national commission invited all the commissions to participate and sent to us their uh, uh, parameters or indicators and their idea of what the child friendly local governance initiative should be i was forced to tell them that kerala had moved ahead and that our indicators were far more comprehensive and our benchmarks much higher so i requested that we may be allowed to continue to be a kind of a support uh, to this initiative rather than participate in the all india initiative now having said that why was why is this one particular initiative of particular interest and to me it is because of that this particular initiative it reflects the voice of the community it and the voice of the community is most important to create a conducive environment for child rights it is both immediate and it is both and also relevant so the just now while listening to the presentations the president of the ramapuram panchayat very rightly mentioned that this whole thing came from uh, uh, an idea that kila had planted in the minds of uh, all the panchayats in uh, to around 2016 and what is really interesting is that uh, not only has the funds been utilized i mean people became aware that 5% of the funds can be used for peer for the use of children but more important than that as we have seen in the presentation is the absolute creativity that has gone into issues into creating projects on issues on which these the community or the panchayat focused uh, 
uh, we have seen a range of issues. I'm not, or I'm not going to elaborate on them or uh, repeat them, but the range itself is mind blowing. The kind of space that has been created for children to speak out is and to reflect the needs of children, that is also phenomenal. Uh, that has to be acknowledged and more so during these COVID times, you know, the, the WhatsApp group was a bus of activity we see, we have seen from Walapattanam onwards to everyone, the kind of initiatives they have taken to keep children happy and to keep children active. And this is so important as the minister remarked earlier, we have over 60 deaths of children during this period. Now compare that with the 38 deaths that we had with COVID. So that shows the enormity of the problem. And so the kind of initiatives taken by the, through the child-friendly local initi governance initiative is really very good. Now, having said that, and having seen the growth, I would just like to take the little time available to me to focus on what next, because it is also important to build on the foundation that we have created in these last few years. I would just like to, I've gone back to the 20 indicators that were taken at the time of the start of the initiative. And I'm just going to flag four issues. The first one is updation of data. I was very happy to see that um, there is a tremendous effort being made to update the data, but I have a suggestion that the minister remarked today in her opening remarks that they want to do, the government wants to do more and more projects for the vulnerable in the local government uh, area. But if that is so, it is very important that um, we have proper desegregated data so that we know the kind of vulnerabilities that children suffer in a particular um, panchayat or municipality or, or even in a district. So my request is this updation of data, if it could be done very systematically and regularly and desegregated, I think that would be very helpful. The second thing is about child-friendly public space. Notice that much initiatives are being taken for creating child-friendly public, uh, public space for children. But it, from the photographs also, I noticed that the, there is need for a greater gender perspective because if you, for a healthy child, it was mentioned that you need to, a child should not only just be educated, but uh, should be given opportunities to develop other aspects of his or her personality. It is the girl child that very often does not have adequate, safe public space. So my request is to everyone concerned that can we have a greater gender perspective when we are doing child-friendly public spaces in the future? It's a good beginning, but can we do more? The third one is about uh, uh, child protection. You know, there is a requirement under the Juvenile Justice Act for village level, uh, protection committees to be set up. Uh, I think there is a need for that to be active. The minister again mentioned that this is one of the burdens that we in Kerala face, child abuse. It's something that is something uh, not easy to tackle because very often the abuse happens uh, not in the public space, but within the four walls of the home. But there is no one better than the local village community which can address this issue. So not only for preventive issues, but even to in the matter of, you know, uh, ensuring that the offender gets punished. Very often in Kerala, we, we weep and we, we wail with somebody we find who has uh, committed an offense gets away because the 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 follow up has not been absolutely uh, pakka enough to see that they get punished in the judicial process but this is where a village level protection committees can definitely play a big role both in the prevention and in the ensuring of justice and that these two are key elements for ensuring the protection of children 
And last but not the least, you see, we have uh, all over India, we have a problem. Maintenance of what the assets we create is not really uh, something that is a big priority in our setup. Uh, and it is no, nothing, I mean, it is not, uh, I mean, it is, uh, how shall I put it? It is uh, best reflected, let me say, in the state of the toilets in schools. We build beautiful toilets. We provide water. But what happens is that we do not maintain it. Maintenance of buildings, it's not only an issue here. We are better, I would say, than most places. But still, across India, in all buildings, we find that maintenance is an issue. I have, a, uh, in the course of reading through this program yesterday, I noticed that the Ministry of Rural Development is now giving um, an award for the best child-friendly local governance initiative. That set me thinking, sir, with the minister sitting there, so I have a suggestion. So why don't we think of giving an award at the district level at least to the best maintained office, uh, schools in terms of toilets, in terms of the buildings, in terms of the grounds? so that the children find that and are, they are safe because all said and done, this is the largest congregation place where children congregate for the longest part of a day. So how do we make them safe? We do keep having an occasional incident or two where we know it was totally preventable accidents. So, and also, Menstrual hygiene is very important. So, and very often it what happens is that unless you have water and a clean toilet, we cannot really ensure this. So when we talk about ensuring um, good use of toilets and water for uh, in the village, can we also think of the school as a subset and see how we can do it by rewarding the people who will promote this concept. Uh, there's nothing more I would like to take of more time because I know there are experts waiting to talk. I thank you once again for inviting me to this program. Uh, for those uh, four important points that, should, that you consider as important for uh, taking, for building further to the achievements which these local bodies have already made. And I think the minister has noted your idea of a competition, at the, at an award at the district level for the best maintained you know, uh, projects. Now, may I invite Sri G. Balagobal, former country representative of UNICEF, to offer his feedback on the presentations. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, I would like to first uh, compliment all the local governments who have made the presentation today for uh, doing so in such an excellent fashion so that it was very easy for the several people outside Kerala who are uh, listening to this program and seeing the program to understand and get inspired from uh, the excellent presentations and the inspiring statements that we have uh, uh, seen before us. My task, uh, and, and then uh, th while thanking uh, uh, Dr. Joy and his colleagues for giving me this opportunity, I also echo what uh, Shobha Madam had said that it has been a great privilege to be associated with KILA and the child-friendly uh, go local government programs over the last few years and to see it growing from strength to strength, getting rooted and uh, providing all the variety of success that we have seen. Today, what I will do is very briefly sum, sum, some of the learnings which have been uh, presented by the seven uh, local government uh, agencies over uh, a few broad areas uh, to, to make it easy for us to digest for people outside the state. I think the most significant learning from this local uh, child-friendly governance system or uh, initiative is the importance that our uh, elected representatives or local bodies have gained by listening to the voices of children. And this is not something which is very traditional in our culture. But through the Balasabhas and the work done at the very grassroots level, 
the voices of children were heard they were taken into account in the planning process which as we all know in kerala has it's been a unique strength of planning at the grassroots level and that has been influenced and that is why we saw this significant uh, escalation of resources uh, which of course uh, the apart from the 5% which is uh, mandatory we have seen how uh, say ramapuram i, I had seen from uh, their report that the the investment for children's issues had grown from 35 lakhs in 2015-16 to over 1 crore in uh, 2019-20 kotakel uh, described similarly a large increase in their investment and this investments are going to the most valuable sector that is the future of our society in building better health better intellectual capacities better life skills and better better resilience to deal with all the problems that the next generation are going to take over and hopefully solve in a even better fashion than we have been able to do number 1 number 2 is i think the lesson of having for us to go an extra mile to focus on the problems of children who who face special disadvantages in our society and these are the children uh, of the tribal communities the differently abled children uh, the children of migrant labor and you see this in the in the range of interventions uh, that were presented here today particularly for this differently abled children i don't think the uh, the presentation uh, trishur had done uh, had given uh, enough prominence to something very particularly important that they have started early detection of disabilities soon after birth they have set up a resource center a dedicated resource center for uh, the uh, for helping children with uh, disabilities and they provide 100% disability scholarships in trishur district so this is a is an example which is worth emulating all over the country in my opinion the uh, the other initiatives we have seen how uh, a special uh, reach is made to uh, children from the tribal communities to reduce the dropout and absenteeism which is one of the problems that these children face in keeping up with uh, other children from the non tribal communities now coming to covid and i i have been most impressed by uh, the the recent uh, uh, whatever i have heard here uh, on the initiatives that almost all the uh, local governments have taken to keep children engaged with education and uh, you know to maintain a continuity in the normalcy of life which is disrupted because children cannot go to school anymore physically they they miss the uh, the, the 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 bonding together of their peer community and their ability to play games and so on this has been fantastic the uh, online has been a life saver in 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 a being able to sustain education but i must also flag here one great danger which is only beginning to be perceived that is the online predation of of children children are being targeted by people who want to abuse them child pornography is being uh, circulated so we have to be alert when children have access to online communication devices that they are not becoming prey to this type of predatory activities and for which uh, i was very happy to discuss with uh, uh, director general um, earlier that uh, some excellent work which is being done in kerala between kerala police and some specialist groups uh, have have already produced some very good material including posters small uh, small, small films which can describe how these children can be better protected and i would request whoever is listening to this uh, program may like to contact kila director general to see if they want to have this sort of material disseminated and kila i hope uh, will be able to make that available uh, soon uh, number 3 is about immunization uh, honorable minister during her statement had said that kerala 
is proud to have one of the best records, but has unfortunately uh, seen a, a drop in immunization rates in some places where there are some resistance to immunization. I think Cortical today has to be particularly complimented that they raised immunization rates from 60% to 93.3%. And they have done it through very innovative means, like giving this 10 bonus marks for fully immunized children in selection of individual beneficiaries. And these are examples which others could also pick up. Uh, very importantly, the Honorable Minister had also underlined abuse that exists, particularly within families, and how this matter requires attention. And I must say, having worked for a decade in child protection uh, globally, that many people look to Kerala for leadership in this area of protection of children from various types of abuse and violence and so on. And what we design here are some of uh, our responses to problems which other parts of India are not facing today, but will definitely face uh, very much tomorrow when all of these things come up. Uh, I'm very happy to see the ref repeated reference to activities which uh, are, are uh, abuse, uh, are uh, countering drug abuse. How many of the local governments have located that and working with police and excise department in vulnerability mapping, as we have heard, Kola, Kola, uh, Kola, uh, one of the Gram Panchayats, I'm sorry if you get the name correctly, um, promotion of sports as a, an activity which would counter the, these type of attractions is one. Very importantly, I was so happy to see fostering of better community relations by young people. And uh, the example that uh, Cortical uh, mentioned in the presentation of having youngsters participate in the community kitchen. That was a very wonderful thing. And Ramapuram had also said uh, about, uh, among other things, caring for each other. I think that is what this our community badly requires, a, a coming together of all the disparate uh, communities and differences in one, uh, one, one place and one group and fostering that community feeling. And finally, I would like to say about innovations. And that is, uh, as, as uh, Shobha Koshi, Madam said, so many new things have happened. The water bell was something very significant. I had not uh, known about it. That, that children carry, uh, you know, safe water from the homes, bell is rung, and they drink water because very often children do not in, drink enough water. I found that Katakara had a very good example of the graduates of Anganwadi centers coming together in an association. I think it's a wonderful thing. Katakara didn't get a chance to very much speak about it, but that is a great thing. And uh, I think, again, uh, sending... Uh, volunteers to help in palliative care centers. Again, a, a, a great humanitarian exposure, which uh, shapes the, the mindset and uh, prepares these children to be citizens of a much more caring and uh, uh, sort of um, a world where people come together and not, are not uh, divisive in future. So let me once again, thank you and uh, stop this now. Thank you, Sri Balakopal, uh, for highlighting those uh, uh, important initiatives, uh, the uh, five of them. And uh, I think uh, there is much for uh, other Lok Panchayat local bodies also to learn from it. Uh, thank you very much. Now, let me invite Dr. C. Kathiration, Associate Professor of uh, National Institute of Rural Development, to make his points. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, my sincere thanks to uh, Dr. Jai Alaman, Kila team, for uh, inviting me, particularly involving uh, NIRDPR, National Institute of Rural Development and Panchayat Raj, in this very important and wonderful uh, uh, webinar, actually. I will be always uh, never miss uh, the webinars organized by Kila and their partner institutions. Uh, this particular uh, webinar is very unique uh, for us because uh, mm, we never undertake this type of uh, very intensive and uh, very focused uh, uh, subject in a national level, actually. Though this is a very important subject, uh, there are other uh, important subjects we always uh, overcover over this thing and, and we will give very least importance and other thing. And it has become in the list of seventh or eighth uh, in our activity, something like that. 
uh, when he called yesterday and day for yesterday when you are talking about this particular thing i readily agreed to be a part of this uh, webinar because uh, each and every always uh, the gram panchayats are learning ground for us uh, particularly kerala gram panchayats they are doing very wonderful work actually so i thought actually there are uh, certain prescribed uh, norms will be there for uh, child friendly panchayat mainly for the award purpose many panchayats are work and uh, main people are many, mainly with the support of unicef and other organizations these panchayats are working but after listening every each and every this five gram panchayat and the kotakal municipality and also the uh, district district panchayat uh, trishur i understood that they are really involved actually they are really involved in deep into the subject and uh, uh, the panchayat leadership the, on all three levels so it is showing very clearly here uh, i was really mesmerized the, the way the number of activities uh, carried out by all these uh, gram panchayats municipality and uh, district things and uh, everything everybody has unique in their sense and every gram panchayat here they shown uh, some unique uh, things learning for everybody actually so uh, particularly in nidpr we are very happy to take uh, forward so much of uh, learnings from these gram panchayats which we really look forward to take it forward to other gram panchayats which we are working in other states actually so i just uh, highlight uh, quickly to mention two three important points actually uh, particularly um, the children's forum uh, the very i found it's very unique and involvement of uh, creating a very beautiful uh, children's library in the gram panchayat library and uh, creating uh, child awareness and uh, child rights and awareness and other thing in the form of unaru uh, the rise program which balapattam uh, um, balapattam gram panchayat uh, kannur was very unique for me actually in case of peravur kannur uh, i thought actually uh, there are two important things which they which was very unique uh, compared to other uh, uh, two other panchayats actually which is like uh, giving much importance to sports physical activity keeping them away from mobile phone addiction this is a need of the our actually so i think 80% of the children in the gram panchayat we know that very well they are really addicted everywhere they are even they are not moving out to meet their friends and other thing also so this giving much importance early morning and the 7 o'clock in the sports activity and other thing and uh, giving importance that uh, creating uh, cultivating the organic vegetable uh, uh, in the school level so which give them the responsibility and their sense of pride they creating among the children actually. we have to salute this uh, uh, leadership from uh, peravur actually and uh, in case of kolali gram panchayat what i saw is unique thing is uh, there is a 40% allotment of the fund which is uh, never i heard about this thing particularly for the children focusing on children and integrating it part of their uh, part of their planning exercise dptp which was very unique uh, for it apart from that they had done wonderful job uh, like uh, smart classroom and other thing like that and uh, the ramabram gp uh, which uh, they repeatedly mentioned uh, two three times the president mentioned that kila has given a very clear cut uh, guidelines uh, the way it has to be uh, implemented i think they very strictly they made a planning and they succeeded actually the way of uh, survival development uh, security and participation this was very unique and particularly i was very uh, uh, unique very happy to note the things uh, they were repeatedly mentioning that they are conducting a three days workshop which is very interesting and which is a need very much needed for all the gram panchayat uh, when you bring you wanted to bring uh, all the children under one umbrella maybe different wards from different schools something this uh, type of three days workshop will really create a uh, uh, real uh, long term impact then it's a lifetime opportunity for the children actually they, it it creates the leadership things and uh, how they should be a part of the local government uh, process this i find, found very unique actually and uh, katakada gram panchayat in tiruvannadapuram uh, the nutritional uh, food the anganwadis are uh, providing very high tech uh, thing uh, nutritional food thing and the palliative care and my earlier panelist sir also was mentioning that such special importance to uh, what is it uh, disabled people and other thing and uh, the what are the efforts the panchayat is making this thing is very important and also the the uh, children's parliament actually this is a very unique thing and kotakal kotakal municipality of course uh, many times we used to see in the newspaper also the community kitchen concept and the students health cards which is a very first time they introduced uh, this model uh, exclusively by a municipality and um, trishur actually as a whole district has uh, adopted and uh, they are very serious about uh, creating lot of uh, children's parks science museum science parks and all the things uh, were uh, very unique for me actually it was a very good learning for us to take uh, forward this thing actually so i think um, uh, we know that we always take kerala as a model and example to take it forward that how they achieved 
the panchayat panchayat are the main leaders in uh, uh, creating the uh, what is that uh, change process in the whole uh, country and other thing like that particularly uh, we always believe, believe that the convergence and collective action which in terms of uh, taking into the planning exercise gpdp is going to work uh, everywhere so though in 2018 the government of india ministry of panchayat raj they put uh, the new guidelines of gpdp gram panchayat development plan an exclusive section is there in the uh, the guidelines where they are repeatedly saying that like women women centric uh, uh, development and also the child friendly gram panchayat should be thing we had a opportunity to work with unicef also very shortly in few gram panchayat in punjab and other areas so everywhere we are trying to teach this aspect something uh, like that so the gpdp is going to be a main carrier and uh, the way we we take uh, the nidp are taking gpdp as a main vehicle for change something where child friendly gram panchayat also is becoming a very important component now it is a very right time for us that uh, all the learnings uh, from uh, uh, this uh, uh, webinar and other things we will definitely will be taking it into the part of our gpdp programs and uh, we will like to work very closely with kila also uh, to take this as a model uh, this thing also one important point what uh, uh, not much uh, importance was given in kerala uh, the, this presentation is uh, particularly on poshan abhiyan actually uh, regarding nutritional issues and also wash and other programs maybe they touched everywhere but Uh, other than that the leadership things were very unique and uh, it was very highlighting in all the gram panchayats and uh, there should be some uh, uh, things where we will get a lot of support from government of india also on uh, nutritional aspects improving the nutritional aspects creating horticulture based uh, kitchen gardens where i think kudumbashree is already supporting in uh, all the uh, schools uh, they are creating uh, these models i think um, otherwise in the overall uh, it was a unique uh, learning experience and uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity yeah thank you uh, dr kadreshan i think from the three panelists it is evident that uh, any all of them are highly impressed by your performance and what you have presented and no amount or any amount of compliments may not be an excess i just want to add one important point which i felt is that uh, what uh, dr uh, sri balgobal said the importance of the voice of children being heard sitting here i was thinking that you when you were willing to listen to children you belong to a generation of what is called a no generation because your parents never ever wanted to listen from you that is a different time altogether that generation is making a parad paradigm shift that is something very important some of you got the awards and i am very sure others it's for the others it's a matter of time so now i would like to uh, our owner of finance ministry is here i would like to uh uh invite him for a brief interaction with you uh and over to professor dr thomas isaac i want to raise uh, four questions and you can answer them respond in malayalam doesn't matter joseph should uh, translate nalu chodyangale chodikya udheshikkana adu krithimatta malayalathi paranjalum kolappu illa first is regarding the vulnerability mapping quality panchayat i think referred to it i would like to know how did you do the vulnerability vulnerability mapping and what were the findings quality panchayat ee vulnerability mapping nadathiyattu paranju ad engane cheyidu nu enikku ariyan edu thalpiri undu second is regarding the migrant children i think peravur or valavatnam had even a slide on them but i didn't get to know what exactly you did for that what was the project for the migrant children endana ee migrant children vendi cheyidathu ar project endayirunnu nanu enikku thalpiriyundu and munamathathu is to trichu see it was a district wide program was it a joint project with the local um, gram panchayats or a independent project with the district panchayat it was if it was a joint project what percentage of your outlay would have been integrated to gram panchayats that's the question very manasla in the irikkunu the joint project ayirundengile etra shadamanam gram panchayat outlay integrate cheyidu chalavichathana and finally a question to everyone of you 
when we started on the people's planning decentralization anganwadi is for the focus of intervention now you cannot just get focused on an anganwadi alone is good that we diversify but i was surprised that only four presentations made a mention of anganwadi now i'm certain something's was to be happening um quality that was a focal point of intervention katakada had certain innovative uh, interventions on and trishur also mentioned it now is there any particular reason uh, do you find any difficulty in intervening innovatively in the anganwadi system is indeed a transferred institution so if there is anything i would like to know about it these are the four questions maybe i'll respond after hearing from your you know answers thank you kolari aditya chodyam kolari ellavarku അങ്കണവാടിയെ കുറിച്ച് ചോദിച്ചാൽ മനസ്സിലാക്കണമെന്ന് കരുതുന്നു നമ്മൾ തുടങ്ങിയപ്പോ എല്ലാരും കുട്ടികളുടെ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ അങ്കണവാടിയാണ് പക്ഷെ ഇപ്പൊ മാറിയിട്ടുണ്ട് നാല് പേര് മാത്രമേ പരാമർശിച്ച് കണ്ടുള്ളൂ കോലഴിക്ക് വളരെ പ്രാധാന്യത്തോടെ ഉണ്ട് എന്റെ ചോദ്യം എന്തെങ്കിലും തടസ്സങ്ങളുണ്ടോ നൂതനമായ രീതിയിൽ അങ്കണവാടിയിൽ ഇടപെടുന്നതിന് വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് അങ്ങനെ വല്ലതും ഉണ്ടായതുകൊണ്ടാണോ ഇത് പുറകോട്ട് പോയിട്ടുള്ളത് അല്ല പ്രസന്റേഷന് വിട്ടുപോയതാണോ എല്ലാ ഗ്രാമപഞ്ചായത്തുകളും അങ്കണവാടിയുടെ ഫീഡിങ്ങിനും മറ്റും മാൻഡേറ്ററി ആയിട്ട് പണം നീക്കി വെക്കാൻ നിർബന്ധിതരാണ് സോ അത് ആ ബന്ധമുണ്ട് പക്ഷെ മൂന്ന് പഞ്ചായത്തുകൾ മാത്രമേ എന്തെങ്കിലും നൂതനമായ രീതിയിൽ അങ്കണവാടിയിൽ ഇടപെടുന്നതായിട്ട് പരാമർശിക്കുകയുണ്ടായുള്ളൂ അതാണ് അവസാനം പറഞ്ഞത് ഓക്കെ now it is for them eh uh kolari panchayatine enganeyana vulnerability mapping nadathiyathu ennulladine sambandhiche adu ningal parna karyamana adana minister chodikkunnathu endengilum ippettanu pradhigirikkan undengil parayya kolari panchayat അല്ലെങ്കിൽ നമുക്ക് നമുക്ക് വളപട്ടം തുടങ്ങാം കൊലരി റെഡിയാണോ കൊലരി റെഡിയാണോ എങ്കിലും നമുക്ക് അടുത്ത ചോദ്യം മിനിസ്റ്റർ ചോദിച്ചത് മൈഗ്രൻഡി പറഞ്ഞാട്ടെ ഹലോ ചോദിച്ചത് കേക്കാമോ കേക്കാമോ ആ ചോദിച്ചത് നിങ്ങളുടെ പഞ്ചായത്തില് വൾനറബിലിറ്റി മാപ്പിംഗ് നടത്തി എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു അതെങ്ങനെയാണ് നടത്തിയത് ഒന്ന് വിശദീകരിക്കാമോ എന്നാണ് മിനിസ്റ്റർ ചോദിക്കുക അത് മറ്റുള്ളവർക്കും വളരെ പ്രയോജനപ്രദമാകുമല്ലോ അതാണ് ഹലോ പീറ്റർ കില ഈ വൾണർവിറ്റി മാപ്പിന് ഏതെങ്കിലും മോഡൽ കൊടുത്തിരുന്നിട്ടുണ്ടോ സാർ നമ്മൾ വി സ്റ്റാർട്ടഡ് ആക്ച്വലി വിത്ത് മരാരിക്കുളം സൗത്ത് ഗ്രാമ പഞ്ചായത്ത് അതെ അത് ഞാൻ ചെയ്തതാണ് അതെ സെയിം സെയിം യുവർ ഓൺ മോഡൽ വി ബി ടുക്ക് ഇറ്റ് ആൻഡ് വി വി ടുക്ക് ഇറ്റ് ആസ് പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് ദി ട്രെയിനിങ് പ്രോഗ്രാം ദ
and i, I say it is important that if you are thinking of doing a vulnerability mapping for the children other streegalde kutigalde turmich edukkunnal because streegalana respondents aayittu vera ah no so if you are thinking of doing a vulnerability mapping for the children it should be conducted for women and children together because it will be the women who will be the respondents what we had done in mararikulam that's in my constituency the panchayat is that after a whole exercise of uh, concentration session talking to taking classes of various types of violence against women uh, each women uh, would drop in a box their record on the last two four months mm-hmm. of the type of violences they faced the context the time the perpetrator uh, the, uh, the who did the violence and so on in a perform- format without they don't have to reveal their identity at all and uh, most revealing uh, information from that mapping was okay then we mapped it on the village ward where exactly violence was taking place and so on but the uh, most um, say kind of shocking revelation was as the age decreases the violence increases various types of violence increases and when it reached the high school students 100% of the students said in the last four months they have faced some violence or other in terms of either verbal abuse or physical or um, as uh, balagobal mentioned in the family is there a particular time say between the school closing at 4 and so no clock when the parents return these three hours are very problematic hours in the house um in fact that is some most shocking revelation and the panchayat then on the basis of that formulated projects to uh, face this violence against the women and children so i wanted to know if you had devised any other method methodology for mapping the violence against abuse of children and violence against women that's okay fine let's go ahead walapattanam adutha chodyam walapattanam grama panchayathilana sambandhiyana ningal paranju migrant kutikalku vendite migrants inde kutikalku vendite chila programs nadathi ennu paranju adu endana onnu vishadhigirikkamo adana minister chodichu ningal walapattanam panchayath library de keelile ചിൽഡ്രൻസിന്റെ ഒരു ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ഉണ്ട് ആ ഗ്രൂപ്പിലെ കുട്ടികൾക്ക് കുട്ടികളോടൊപ്പം തന്നെ മൈഗ്രൻസ് ആയി ഇരുപത് കുട്ടികൾ പങ്കെടുത്തിരുന്നു ഞങ്ങളുടെ വളപട്ടണം പഞ്ചായത്തിൽ താമസിക്കുന്ന മറ്റ് സംസ്ഥാനങ്ങളിൽ വരുന്നതായ കുട്ടികളാണ് അവർ വളപട്ടണം പഞ്ചായത്തിൽ സ്കൂളുകളിലാണ് പഠിക്കുന്നത് അപ്പൊ അവർ കുറെ ആവശ്യങ്ങൾ അവരുടെ അവർക്ക് വേണ്ടി പറഞ്ഞിരുന്നു പ്രത്യേകിച്ച് അവർക്ക് വിദ്യാഭ്യാസത്തിന് നമ്മുടെ സംസ്ഥാനത്തിലുള്ള കുട്ടികൾക്ക് കിട്ടുന്ന ആനുകൂല്യങ്ങളൊന്നും അവർക്ക് കിട്ടുന്നില്ല ആ അതിന്റെ ബേസ് ചെയ്ത് അന്ന് ഞങ്ങള് നമ്മുടെ അസിസ്റ്റന്റ് കളക്ടർ ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു അദ്ദേഹത്തെയും കൂടെ ക്ഷണിച്ചിരുന്നു ഈ സദസ്സിലേക്ക് അദ്ദേഹത്തിന് മുമ്പ് തന്നെ ആ വന്ന കുട്ടികളിൽ നിന്ന് ഒരു തുളസി എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞൊരു കുട്ടി വളരെ നന്നായിട്ട് പ്രസന്റ് ചെയ്തു അതായത് നന്നായിട്ട് പഠിക്കണമെന്നുണ്ട് പക്ഷെ നമ്മുടെ പഞ്ച നമ്മുടെ സ്റ്റേറ്റിൽ നിന്ന് നമ്മുടെ കുട്ടികൾക്ക് കിട്ടുന്ന ആനുകൂല്യങ്ങൾ അത്തരം കുട്ടികൾക്ക് കിട്ടുന്നില്ല ചിലർക്ക് ജാതിയുടെ സർട്ടിഫിക്കറ്റ് വരുമാന സർട്ടിഫിക്കറ്റ് ഇങ്ങനത്തെ കാര്യങ്ങളൊന്നും കിട്ടുന്നില്ല എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞപ്പോൾ അത് കളക്ടർ അസിസ്റ്റന്റ് കളക്ടറെ ശ്രദ്ധയപ്പെടുത്തുകയും അദ്ദേഹം അത് ഏറ്റെടുക്കുകയും ഈ കുട്ടികൾക്ക് ആവശ്യമായ എല്ലാ കാര്യം റേഷൻ കാർഡ് പോലും കിട്ടാത്ത ഒരു അവസ്ഥ ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു അവർക്ക് വളരെ കാലങ്ങളായിട്ട് ഇവിടെ താമസിക്കുന്ന ആളുകളാണ് പക്ഷെ അവർക്ക് റേഷൻ പോലും കിട്ടുന്നില്ല വരുമാന സർട്ടിഫിക്കറ്റ് കിട്ടുന്നില്ല ഇങ്ങനെ ജാതി പ്രസിഡന്റ് ആ കുട്ടികള് പഠിക്കാൻ സ്കൂളിൽ പോകുന്നുണ്ടോ ആ ഉണ്ട് പഠിക്കാൻ സ്കൂളിൽ പോകുന്ന മാത്രം നല്ല ഡിഗ്രി എടുത്ത കുട്ടികൾ വരെ ഉണ്ട് ഇപ്പോ നമ്മുടെ നമ്മുടെ വളവട്ടത്ത് തന്നെ താമസിച്ച് വളവട്ടം സാധാരണ സ്കൂളുകളിൽ പഠിച്ച് ഗവൺമെന്റ് സ്കൂളിലൊക്കെ പഠിച്ചിട്ട് തന്നെ നല്ല നിലയിലെത്തി കുട്ടികളുണ്ട് അവിടെ പത്ത് ഇരുപതോളം കുട്ടികൾ അന്ന് വന്നിരുന്നു വളരെ നന്നായിട്ട് പഠിക്കുന്ന കുട്ടികൾ നന്നായിട്ട് മലയാളം സംസാരിക്കും മലയാളം എഴുതുകയൊക്കെ ചെയ്യും ഇത് പെർമനന്റ് ആയിട്ട് താമസിക്കുന്നവരാ ടെമ്പററി ആയിട്ട് വരുന്നവര് എങ്ങനെയാണ് ആ കുട്ടികൾ സ്കൂളിൽ പോവും ഒരു വർഷത്തേക്ക് രണ്ടു വർഷത്തേക്കൊക്കെ വരുന്നവരില്ലേ അപ്പൊ അവരുടെ കുട്ടികൾ സ്കൂളിൽ പോകുന്നുണ്ടോ ഞങ്ങളുടെ പഞ്ചായത്ത് ഞങ്ങൾ അറിഞ്ഞിടത്തോളം കുട്ടികളെയൊക്കെ സ്കൂളിൽ അയക്കാറുണ്ട് ഈ ഭാഗത്തുള്ളതായ മൈഗ്രൻസിന്റെ കൂടെ കുടുംബമായിട്ട് വന്നിരിക്കുന്ന ആളുകളുടെ കുട്ടികളെ എല്ലാവരും സ്കൂളിലേക്ക് അയക്കുന്ന ഒരു സംവിധാനം നമ്മൾ ചെയ്യാറുണ്ട് അറിഞ്ഞുകൊണ്ട് തന്നെ ചെയ്യുന്നതാണത് കാരണം അവർ കുറച്ചു കാലമാണെങ്കിലും കുറച്ചു കാലം നമ്മുടെ വിദ്യാലയങ്ങളിൽ പഠിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് അവർ നല്ല ഉയര ഉയർന്ന നിലയിൽ മാർക്ക് വാങ്ങുന്ന കുട്ടികളും ഉണ്ടാക്കൂട്ടത്തില് മലയാള മലയാള ഭാഷ ശരിക്കും നന്നായിട്ട് സംസാരിക്കുന്ന കുട്ട
അങ്ങനെ കളക്ടർ ശ്രദ്ധയിൽപ്പെട്ടതിന് ശേഷം അവർക്ക് ആവശ്യമായ കാര്യങ്ങളൊക്കെ ചെയ്തു കൊടുക്കാൻ നമ്മുടെ പഞ്ചായത്തിന് ലൈബ്രറിക്ക് വേണ്ടി സാധിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് regardless of the duration of their stay in the in valapattanam they ensured that all the children reaches the school and uh, in the meeting and they had something like 20 around 20 uh, uh, migrant children and uh, those children, they have they were as right uh, they are differently uh, kind of uh, i mean they are not as endowed like other children and some of them were not having ration cards even so what the uh, 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 village panchayat ensured was that they made the presence of the sub collector in such meetings and the issues faced by these children were brought to the attention of the sub collector concerned and these problems their problems were uh, resolved that is what uh, uh, the president said so they made they had a special focus they ensured that the the the, the migrant children the children of the guest workers are are treated on par with our own children that is the important point and uh, now coming to trishuri garode minister chodicha chodyam enna paranjal avade nadathiya paripadigalile enganeyana mat grama panchayathukale involve cheyidathu avaru involve cheyidengil mottam nadana paripadile etra shadamanam കോസ്റ്റ് പഞ്ചായത്തുകളാണ് വഹിച്ചത് അപ്പൊ അവരുമായിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു ഇൻവോൾവ്മെന്റ് അവരുമായിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു കോർഡിനേഷൻ അതൊക്കെ എങ്ങനെയാണ് സാധ്യമായത് എന്നാണ് ചോദിച്ചത് ബാലസൗഹൃദ ജില്ലയുടെ പ്രോജക്ട് ഞങ്ങളൊരു കേൾക്കാമോ കേൾക്കാം കേൾക്കാം ബാലസൗഹൃദ ജില്ലയുടെ പ്രോജക്ട് ഞങ്ങൾ എടുത്തത് ജില്ലാ പദ്ധതിയായിട്ടാണ് എടുത്തത് ഇപ്പൊ ജില്ലാ പദ്ധതി എന്ന് പറയുമ്പോൾ ഡി പി സിക്കാണ് അതിന്റെ ഒരു അതിന്റെ കോർഡിനേഷന്റെ ഒരു ചുമതലയുള്ളത് അതുമായി ബന്ധപ്പെട്ടുകൊണ്ട് നമ്മുടെ എൺപത്തി ആറ് ഗ്രാമ പഞ്ചായത്തുകൾ പതിനാറ് ബ്ലോക്ക് പഞ്ചായത്തുകൾ ഏഴ് മുനിസിപ്പാലിറ്റി ഒരു കോർപ്പറേഷൻ അതുപോലെ ഡിസ്ട്രിക്ട് പഞ്ചായത്ത് ഇങ്ങനെ ഇതെല്ലാം കൂടി ചേർന്നുകൊണ്ട് ഗ്രാമ പഞ്ചായത്തുകൾ ഒരു അമ്പതിനായിരം രൂപ വെച്ച് ബ്ലോക്ക് പഞ്ചായത്തുകൾ ഒരു ലക്ഷം ഏഴ് മുനിസിപ്പാലിറ്റി അഞ്ച് ലക്ഷം വെച്ച് കോർപ്പറേഷൻ പത്ത് ലക്ഷം ഡിസ്ട്രിക്ട് പഞ്ചായത്ത് അൻപത് ലക്ഷം അങ്ങനെ ഒരു കോടി അമ്പത്തിനാല് ലക്ഷത്തിന്റെ പ്രോജക്റ്റ് ആണ് ഞങ്ങൾ ആദ്യമായിട്ട് ജില്ലാ പദ്ധതി എന്നുള്ള രീതിയിൽ ജില്ലാ പഞ്ചായത്ത് നേതൃത്വം കൊടുത്തുകൊണ്ട് അതിലൊരു പദ്ധതിയാണ് ഞങ്ങൾ തയ്യാറാക്കിയത് അതിന്റെ ഭാഗമായിട്ട് ഞങ്ങൾ ആദ്യമായി ചെയ്തത് ഡിസ്ട്രിക്ട് പഞ്ചായത്ത് അർജിത ഓൾ ദി ലോക്കൽ സെൽഫ് ഗവൺമെന്റ് ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂഷൻസ് ടു ക്രിയേറ്റ് എ വർക്കിംഗ് ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ഫോർ ചൈൽഡ് ഫ്രണ്ട്ലി ഗ്രൂപ്പ് we created a performa with the help of experts to find out the statistics which found out the problems facing the children then the district panchayat requested to form a bal sabha to all local self governments working group discussed this matter in detail and according to the resolution created in discussions the working group formed the project child friendly district district planning committee dpc approved this project and requested all lsgs to cooperate with district panchayat to implement the about child friendly district ainde bhagamayittulla paddhathigal nammade grama panchayat adhole ella nammade local bodies ilum adinde bhagamayittulla paddhathigal aavishtichu narpaaki aadimayittu njangale nadathiyathu oru web portal thayaaraakka ennalladayirunnu appo nammade ee local self government ilumayi bandhapettukonde അതാത് ലോക്കൽ ബോഡീസിലുള്ള കുട്ടികൾ സീറോ മുതൽ പതിനെട്ട് വയസ്സ് വരെ പ്രായമായിട്ടുള്ള കുട്ടികൾ ഉൾപ്പെടുത്തിക്കൊണ്ടുള്ള ഒരു വെബ് പോർട്ടൽ ആ വെബ് പോർട്ടൽ നമ്മുടെ ഗവൺമെന്റ് എഞ്ചിനീയറിംഗ് കോളേജിലെ സ്റ്റുഡൻസിന്റെയും ഒപ്പം കിളിയുടെയും സഹായത്തിൽ പ്രസന്റ് സ്റ്റാറ്റസ് നമ്മുടെ കുട്ടികളെ കുറിച്ചുള്ള പ്രസന്റ് സ്റ്റാറ്റസ് എടുക്കുകയും അതിനുശേഷം എന്ത് പ്രവർത്തനങ്ങളാണ് മുന്നോട്ട് കൊണ്ടുപോകുന്നുള്ളതിനെ കുറിച്ചിട്ട് വീണ്ടും കർമ്മസമിതികൾ കൂടി തീരുമാനിക്കുകയുണ്ടായി അതിന്റെ ഭാഗമായിട്ടാണ് ഏറ്റവും ചെറിയ കുഞ്ഞുങ്ങൾ അതായത് സീറോ മുതൽ ത്രീ വരെ പ്രായമായിട്ടുള്ള കുട്ടികളിൽ ഉണ്ടാകുന്ന ചെറിയ വൈകല്യങ്ങൾ കണ്ടുപിടിക്കുന്നതിനും ഏർലി ഡിറ്റക്ഷൻ നടത്തുന്നതിനുമുള്ള ക്യാമ്പുകൾ അത് പതിനാറ് ബ്ലോക്ക് പഞ്ചായത്തുകളുടെ നേതൃത്വത്തിൽ നമ്മുടെ ലോക്കൽ ബോഡീസിന്റെ ഭാഗമായിരുന്നു കുട്ടികളെയൊക്കെ പങ്കെടുപ്പിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് ഏർലി ഡിറ്റക്ഷൻ ക്യാമ്പുകൾ നിങ്ങൾ സംഘടിപ്പിക്കുകയുണ്ടായി പിന്നെ അതുപോലെ തന്നെ നമ്മുടെ അംഗൻവാടികൾ 
ഒരു പക്ഷെ തൃശൂർ ജില്ലാ പഞ്ചായത്ത് ആയിരിക്കും ദേശീയ ഗ്രാമീണ തൊഴിലുറപ്പ് പദ്ധതിയെയും സാമൂഹ്യക്ഷേമ ബോർഡ് വകുപ്പിന്റെയും ജില്ലാ പഞ്ചായത്തിന്റെ സഹകരണത്തോടുകൂടി നൂറ്റി അറുപത്തി എട്ട് അംഗൻവാടികൾ അത് ബാലസൗഹൃദമായിട്ടുള്ള അംഗൻവാടികൾ നമുക്ക് ഈ അഞ്ചു വർഷക്കാലം കൊണ്ട് പണിതു കൊടുക്കാൻ കഴിഞ്ഞു ഒപ്പം പഞ്ചായത്തുകളും അതുപോലെ തന്നെ മറ്റ് തദ്ദേശ സ്വയംഭരണ സ്ഥാപനങ്ങളും മെമ്പർമാരും ഒക്കെ അവരുടെ തനതായ ഫണ്ട് ഉപയോഗിച്ചുകൊണ്ടും ധാരാളം അംഗൻവാടികൾ പണിക്കുകയുണ്ടായി അംഗൻവാടികൾ കുട്ടികൾക്ക് നല്ല കുടിവെള്ളം എത്തിക്കുന്നതിന് വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് അതുപോലെ അവർക്ക് ശീതീകരണ സംവിധാനങ്ങൾ ഒരുക്കുന്ന കാര്യത്തില് അതിന്റെ ഭൗതിക സാഹചര്യങ്ങൾ മെച്ചപ്പെടുന്ന കാര്യത്തിലൊക്കെ കോടിക്കണക്കിന് രൂപയാണ് നമ്മുടെ ജില്ലാ പഞ്ചായത്തും മറ്റ് തദ്ദേശ സ്വയംഭരണ സ്ഥാപനങ്ങളും ആ മേഖലയിൽ മുഴുവൻ you know see that's very good this is precisely of the message i wanted to convey by asking you this question see we have to move now to more greater integrated area integrated projects at district level and so on. see our interventions to have a big impact must be coordinated so the district panchayats in fact should initiate uh, say a district wide projects like the one you have uh, now you are now explaining uh, which everybody will join in certain common features but then suppose a panchayat wants to go further and make it itself a model kuttigalde uh, saugrada panchayat then they would have the freedom to do that this kind of integration is what we have to move ahead in future so that's very good what you have done but before we move i want to ask one question nammada kaatakada hmm ee kaatakadayile ningal paranju anganwadiyude poorva vidyarthi sangham undakkiyittunnathu etra anganwadikku ingatha sangham undakkan kazhinjittundu adu pravartikkunnundo allengi or yogam mathram aano allengi torarchiyayittu koodunnundo sir parayte sir parayte കാട്ടാട ഗ്രാമപഞ്ചായത്തില് പതിനാല് അംഗനവാടികൾക്കാണ് പൂർവ്വ വിദ്യാർത്ഥി സംഗമം ഉണ്ട് ഉള്ളത് അതിൽ ഓരോ സംഘവും അവരുടേതായ ഫണ്ട് ഉപയോഗിച്ച് ഓഡിറ്റോറിയങ്ങൾ ചെറിയ ചെറിയ ഓഡിറ്റോറിയങ്ങൾ Thank you. Now, one of the things that we have to do is to present a volleyball player. That's it. 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 വെരി ഗുഡ് ഇപ്പൊ ഫുട്ബോളും വോളിബോളും പിന്നെ ഫുട്ബോൾ വോളിബോൾ പ്ലെയർ നമ്മുടെ ജിമ്മി ജോർജിന്റെ നാടാണ് പേരാർ പഞ്ചായത്ത് അതുകൊണ്ട് തന്നെ ജിമ്മി ജോർജ് സ്റ്റേഡിയത്തിൽ വെച്ചിട്ടാണ് അവർക്ക് നമ്മൾ ട്രെയിനിങ് കൊടുത്തുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്നത് അതുപോലെ വോളിബോൾ കളരി യോഗ നീന്തൽ പരിശീലനം ഇതെല്ലാം കുട്ടികൾക്ക് നൽകി വരികയാണ് ഇത് കൂടാതെ തന്നെ നമുക്ക് സന്നദ്ധ സേവനത്തിലൂടെ കായികക്ഷമത പരിശീലനം നൽകുന്ന റിട്ടയർഡ് സി ഐ കുട്ടിച്ചന്റ് സാർ ഉണ്ട് അവരുടെ നേതൃത്വത്തിൽ ഒരു നൂറ്റി ഇരുപത്തോ ഇരുപത്തി എട്ടോളം കുട്ടികൾക്ക് സ്ഥിരമായിട്ട് പരിശീലനം നൽകി ഒരുപാട് കുട്ടികളെ അവരുടെ കായിക ശേഷി വർദ്ധിപ്പിക്കുന്നതിനും അവർക്ക് സൈന്യത്തിലേക്ക് മിലിറ്ററിയിലേക്ക് അവരോടൊപ്പം എക്സൈസിലേക്ക് പോലീസിലേക്ക് എല്ലാം സെലക്ട് ചെയ്യാൻ വേണ്ടി സാധിക്കുകയാണ് പിന്നെ ആർച്ചറി ഇതെല്ലാം നമ്മുടെ മേഖലയിൽ എല്ലാ മേഖലയിലും കായിക ശേഷി വളർത്തിയെടുക്കുവാൻ വേണ്ട സാഹചര്യം പെരാർ പഞ്ചായത്തില് ഇന്ന് നിലവിലുണ്ട് Peravur is uh, the place where uh, the, the, the world-renowned Hollywood player, uh, Jimmy Joes, and their family, and, they are, all, uh, and they, are, they are actually known for their uh, uh, commitment to Hollywood. 
and there they provide uh, the the uh, support for volleyball uh, football and uh, the all round development of uh, children in varied uh, 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 sport activities including martial arts so that is what uh, the president uh, said gram panchayat president um നിങ്ങളുടെ ഇടപെടലിന്റെ പ്രത്യേകതയായിട്ട് എനിക്ക് തോന്നിയത് കുട്ടികളുടെ വ്യക്തിത്വ വികസനത്തിലാണ് കൂടുതൽ ഊന്നൽ പേഴ്സണാലിറ്റി ഡെവലപ്മെന്റ് ഓഫ് ദ ചിൽഡ്രൻ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് ഫോക്കസ് ഓഫ് യുവർ ഇന്റർവെൻഷൻ ഹാസ് ദർ ബിൻ എനി വിസിബിൾ ഇമ്പാക്ട് ഓഫ് അപ്പോൺ ദ ചിൽഡ്രൻ ആൻഡ് ഡൂ ദി പേരൻസ് അപ്രിഷ്യേറ്റ് രാമപുരം പ്രസിഡന്റ് മിനിസ്റ്റർ ചോദിച്ചത് ഈ രാമപുരത്ത് നിങ്ങൾ നടത്തിയ വലിയ പ്രവർത്തനങ്ങളുടെ ഭാഗം ഫലമായിട്ട് എന്തെങ്കിലും ഒരു വിസിബിൾ ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഇമ്പാക്ട് ഉണ്ടോ അത് പേരൻസ് എത്ര കണ്ട് എത്ര കണ്ട് അപ്രീഷിയേറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് എന്നാണ് ചോദിച്ചത് രാമപുരംകാരോട് ഹെൽത്ത് ആൻഡ് എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ ഒരു സ്റ്റുഡൻ്റ് ആണ് അഭിഷേക് എന്റെ പേര് അഭിഷേക് എന്നാണ് മൈ നെയിം ഇസ് അഭിഷേക് സ്റ്റുഡൻറ് ഇൻ അമ്മൂര ഗ്രാമപഞ്ചായത്ത് ഐ താങ്ക് ടു ഗീവ് ദിസ് ഓപ്പർച്യൂണിറ്റി ടു ഇൻഡ ഈ ഒരു സെഷനിൽ എനിക്ക് പങ്കെടുക്കാൻ സാധിച്ചു പാർട്ടിസിപ്പേറ്റ് ചെയ്യാൻ സാധിച്ചു ഒത്തിരി നന്ദി പറയുന്നു ഈ ഒരു ചോദ്യത്തിന് ഏറ്റവും വലിയ ഉദാഹരണം അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഒരു ആൻസർ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞത് ഞാൻ തന്നെയാണ് ബിക്കോസ് ഞങ്ങളുടെ നാട്ടിൽ നടത്തിയ പല ഇന്ററാക്ഷൻസ് ആ ഇന്ററാക്ഷൻസിലൂടെ ഒത്തിരിയേറെ സെൽഫ് കോൺഫിഡൻസ് ഡിറ്റർമിനേഷൻ ഇതൊക്കെ കിട്ടിയതുകൊണ്ട് തന്നെയാണ് ഞാൻ എനിക്കിപ്പോ ഈ വെബിനാറിൽ പാർട്ടിസിപ്പേറ്റ് ചെയ്ത് സംസാരിക്കാനായിട്ട് സാധിക്കുന്ന കോൺഫിഡൻസോട് കൂടിയിട്ട് അത് ഞങ്ങളുടെ പേരൻസിനും അതുപോലെ ഞങ്ങളുടെ നാട്ടുകാർക്കും എല്ലാം ഒത്തിരിയേറെ ഇൻസ്പിറേഷൻ ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് ഒത്തിരി ഇൻസ്പിറേഷൻ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ അവര് ഈ ഗ്രാമപഞ്ചായത്ത് നടത്തുന്ന പ്രവർത്തനങ്ങൾ കൂടുതലും മനസ്സിലാക്കി അറിഞ്ഞ് ഞങ്ങളെ ഇങ്ങോട്ടേക്ക് പറഞ്ഞു വിടുന്നതുകൊണ്ട് ഞങ്ങൾക്കും അതൊരു ഇൻസ്പിറേഷൻ ആണ് പേരൻസിന് എല്ലാവർക്കും വളരെയധികം സന്തോഷം അഭിമാനവും നൽകുന്ന കാര്യങ്ങളാണ് Uh, the the kind of impact of the interventions in ramaburam panchayat in terms of the overall development of the children one of the uh, uh, children uh, itself uh, he has responded saying that he himself is the testimonial for the um, the, the visible impact of the interventions by the uh, rama panchayat he says that he has got i mean uh, confidence in terms of participating in this webinar and articulating his points so i think uh, this is a, a good answer to a uh, 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 question by the minister so now we come to the last um, potakel municipality uh, you are the only municipality in the whole presentations um now you had presented a, in the the total amount of allocation for child friendly activities and i found it has been increasing by some 25% every year from less than 1 one, 1 crore, crore rupees to nearly 5 crore rupees um that's very impressive now what all components do you add in this in the allocation for children quality for example claim to 40% which is uh, in fact pointed out by yeah from nird <laughs> and uh, now i can understand it's perfectly possible 40% be for the children related activity because if you add the allocation for say education anganwadi nutrition programs uh, and also for primary health care center and so on it can be it can come up to that so i would like to know what is the definition that you have used for Uh, when you say the allocation that have been four crores in the last year what of components have you added in that administrator yojichathu acha you are speaking english yeah fine yeah chair man samsarikkam unmute cheyithe samsarikkam unmute cheyithe samsarikkam 
സംസാരിക്കൂടുക്കത്തില്ല കണ്ടോ ആ മൈക്ക് അൺമ്യൂട്ട് ചെയ്യണം അൺമ്യൂട്ട് അവിടെ ആരത്തിന് ചോദിച്ചാ മതി അൺമ്യൂട്ട് Okay, meanwhile, we have a guest who has been here, a special guest. Uh, Murdu Lipan, are you there? You want to say a few words? Murduji, just lift your camera. Murdu, can you hear me? Would you like to say something? Yeah, can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you now. Okay. yeah so i i really wanted to say how how impressed one is you know and this is so important to show concretely what can be done rather than you know talking in general terms everybody wants to know what should can be done uh, and that is why i think this whole uh, your series you know one after another it's very very important uh, for me because that is really what we want to know but i want to say here something which shobha just sort of and all of you are mentioning but you are not going deeper into it and that is see we from all the presentations and some of them have been so innovative we see that child friendly public spaces definitely have have come up there's no doubt about it but my worry and what has been disturbing one for the last few months because of certain cases being reported is how to intervene in the family that is my thing and i think that's where somehow the panchayat should think of some methods where the families become child friendly because the family structures are so much changing you know single parent then parents separated then another step parent so there are so many things happening within the family and i think that's very important and which is becoming which is making the children very vulnerable so outside they having a good for for themselves but inside the families i think it's very important for us to intervene that's what i really wanted to say because there is something which has been very very disturbing disturbing in the light of certain recent report incidents that have been reported you know about abuse of children so i think that's very important so and thank you very much for giving me this chance and i think it's wonderful you should go once you know each time something concrete should be shown to the to the world ഹലോ സാർ കോട്ടക്കൽ ഞാൻ കെ എം റഷീദ് ജനകീയ ആസൂത്രകാലം മുതലുള്ള നാളുകൾ മിനിസ്റ്റർക്ക് അറിയാം ഈ ഞാനിവിടെ കോട്ടക്കൽ മുനിസിപ്പാലിറ്റിയിലെ വൈസ് ചെയർമാൻ ആണ് പ്ലാനിങ് ലോക്കൽ പ്ലാനിങ് കമ്മിറ്റിയിൽ ഇവിടെ നമ്മൾ ചെയ്ത എന്താണ് സാർ മിനിസ്റ്റർ നമ്മുടെ ചെയർമാൻ ഇപ്പൊ റിനോവേഷൻ പോയതാണ് അതുകൊണ്ടാ ഇപ്പൊ പോയിട്ടേ ഉള്ളൂ ഇതുവരെ ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു അപ്പൊ നമ്മളിവിടെ സർവീസ് സെക്ടറിനാണ് ഏറ്റവും കൂടുതൽ പ്രാധാന്യം കൊടുക്കുന്നത് പ്രത്യേകിച്ച് ഭരണ സമയം അതുകൊണ്ട് ഇൻഫ്രാസ്ട്രക്ചറിൽ നമ്മൾ കൊടുക്കുമ്പോൾ നമ്മൾ റോഡ് മേഖലകളിലൊന്നല്ല നമ്മൾ അധികം ചെയ്യുന്നത് സർവീസ് സെക്ടറിലാണ് അതുകൊണ്ട് തന്നെ ഈ ഫണ്ടിങ് അധികം നീക്കി വെക്കുന്നത് അംഗനവാടിയുടെ റിനോവേഷൻ 
അതുപോലെ തന്നെ സ്കൂൾ പിന്നെ ബിൽഡിങ്സ് അവരുടെ പിന്നെ കാര്യങ്ങൾ മാത്രമല്ല യുബണൈസേഷൻ ഹെൽത്ത് സെന്റേഴ്സ് ഇങ്ങനെയുള്ള കുറെ കാര്യങ്ങൾ നീക്കി വെക്കുന്നതുകൊണ്ടാണ് നമ്മൾ മൊത്തത്തിൽ ആ കുട്ടികൾക്ക് നേരിട്ട് കിട്ടുന്ന കാര്യങ്ങൾ നീക്കി വെക്കുന്നതുകൊണ്ട് നമ്മൾ വയനാറ് പതിനേഴിൽ ഇത് സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ചെയ്ത സമയത്ത് എയ്റ്റീൻ പെർസെന്റ് ഓഫ് ദ ടോട്ടൽ ഫണ്ടിന്റെ പതിനെട്ട് ശതമാനം അതിനു വേണ്ടി നീക്കി വെച്ചിട്ടു അതാണ് അതിൽ കൂടുതൽ എമൗണ്ട് അങ്ങനെ വന്നത് പക്ഷെ ഓരോ വർഷവും നമ്മൾ കൂടി കൂടി വരികയാണ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് കുറെ അല്ല ചെയ്യുന്നത് അത് ചെയർമാൻ പ്രത്യേകം താല്പര്യം എടുക്കുന്നതാണ് ഇതിന് വേണ്ടി കുട്ടികൾക്കും അതുപോലെ തന്നെ സർവീസ് മേഖലകളിലേക്കും കുട്ടികൾക്ക് വേണ്ടി കിട്ടാൻ നീക്കി വെക്കുന്ന ഒരുപാട് കാര്യങ്ങളുണ്ട് അതുപോലെ ഇവിടെ നേരത്തെ പ്രസന്റേഷൻകാർ കാണിക്ക കാണിച്ചു കണ്ടിരുന്നു അങ്ങനത്തെ കാര്യങ്ങളൊക്കെ പാർക്കുകളുണ്ട് ഹെൽത്ത് സെന്ററുകളിൽ പ്രത്യേക അതിനുള്ള സൗകര്യങ്ങൾ ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് അതിനുള്ള ഒക്കെ ആണ് അങ്ങനെയുള്ള ഫണ്ടിങ് പ്ലാൻ ഫണ്ട് നീക്കി വെക്കുന്നു അതുകൊണ്ട് തന്നെ തേർട്ടി ടു പ്രോജക്ട്സ് പതിനേഴ് പതിനെട്ടിൽ തേർട്ടി ടു പ്രോജക്ട്സിലാണ് തേർട്ടി പെർസെന്റ് ത്രീ സീറോ പെർസെന്റേജ് അതിന് വേണ്ടി നീക്കി വെച്ചത് പക്ഷെ അങ്ങനെ വന്നപ്പോഴ് ഇപ്പൊ ഏറ്റവും കൂടുതൽ ഫിഫ്റ്റി ടു വരെ എത്തിയിട്ടുണ്ട് ഫിഫ്റ്റി ടു പെർസെന്റേജ് വരെ എത്തിയിട്ടുണ്ട് സാർ അപ്പൊ മൊത്തം ഇതിൽ ഫണ്ടിങ് വരുന്നത് എങ്ങനെ വെച്ചാൽ സ്കൂൾ കെട്ടിടങ്ങൾ അതുപോലുള്ള പിന്നെ ഹലോ ഹലോ ഒരു ചോദ്യം ചോദിക്കട്ടെ അമ്പത്തിരണ്ട് ശതമാനം നിങ്ങൾ എങ്ങനെ മുപ്പത് ശതമാനം പ്രൊഡക്ഷൻ സെക്ടറിനെ വെക്കണേ ഡി പി സി എങ്ങനെ അംഗീകരിച്ചത് അല്ല സാർ അങ്ങനെയല്ല നമ്മൾ ഈ കുട്ടികൾക്ക് വേണ്ടി കിട്ടുന്നത് പ്രൊഡക്റ്റീവ് സെക്ടറിനും സെക്ടറിനും എല്ലാം അതിൽ കൺസെപ്റ്റ് ഇവർക്ക് കിട്ടുന്നു എന്നുള്ളതാണ് um the vice chairman has been saying that um they have been focusing on the service sectors and particularly activities related to children education renovation of anganwadis and so on and that's one important reason why there uh, say uh, projects which in some way would be linked to children have been rising now it is uh, 52% not just 40% 52% of course almost all projects in the education sector anganwadis and you are saying see they have got to allocate 30% of the plan funds for production related activities so now the children activities also will be linked to production particularly say kitchen garden and so on and so forth so that even the money which is uh, uh, allocated for the production projects would in some way be also linked to children so children have been the focus of kotakal municipality um, that's their choice that's the choice i you have some other panchayat who has going to who are going to give much more attention to geriatric care and kerala is shifting to that and the beauty of um, decentralization is that it gives the freedom for local people to choose and they have made this choice i am happy to be here this evening to hear that because i find here yeah. the panchayat exercising their freedom of choice is not something that is uh, say um, uh, regulator from above you spend for this this for send for that and so on no but here are now local governments who are bold yeah. enough to make their own independent choice of how much to allocate for different sectors i think we are to close now because we have already extend, yeah. extended sir uh, uh, if you uh, permit i think uh, i have one question to minister sir can you permit sir uh, yeah please this, this is kadrishan from nid sir i think uh, uh, this year i think the 15th finance commission already uh, given the guidelines two days before they circulated the guidelines sir i think in the 15th finance commission already 50% is tied funds uh, going to sanitation and other things something how how what will be the overall impact sir in the overall impact in the local bodies this 15th minister as in finance minister you'll be having a uh, some views or i would like to listen from you sir for kerala it is terrible okay in fact this is the supplementary memorandum that we have submitted to the finance commission see states like kerala where they have very um a long tradition of planning and total freedom for local government to choose um now if you put the finance commission 50% has to be for sanitation you are infringing upon the freedom of the local government you should not do that um in fact it creates a lot of problem for state uh, planning the planning in kerala 
because you know our devolution consists of two com three components one is uh, the grant from the state government second is the devolution of the union finance commission and i mean first is the grant from the state finance commission second is the grant from the union finance commission and then we have certain tied loans from world bank and so on explicitly for local government you know each source of finance is going to impose their own um, say criteria for allocation of funds local level planning will become impossible so this um, um, this recommendation of the finance commission is totally retrogressive they don't understand how things are going on at the local level you see now why should kerala so planning process be derailed by this kind of intervention i don't understand um, i mean suppose they should they should be sensitive to what is going on in different states uh, they have this uh, notion of one hat fits all uh, <laughs> really <clears throat> so this is this is what we have been telling the finance commission last finance commission was gracious enough not to mi try to micromanage what should be done at the local level now i don't know for what reason the new finance commission has brought them all back i hope they have good sense to good sense will prevail and the full report they will remove this and just think now you have a covid situation this small amount of money most of the local governments in india they do not get any other than you other than the union finance commission grant the money from the local I means state governments are very paltry and there are there is so much requirements at the local level in covid times i appeal that we made to finance commission was given the covid condition remove all these restrictions give them freedom yeah let them spend it they want they have so many pressing needs in the village so don't try to micromanage that's my response thank you sir thank you for the response joy actually we have crossed that all the time limits which you mentioned but just a few comments and questions which have come many of them have been covered during this time uh, i mean ramit basu had actually posted a few questions especially on the programs on domestic violence and all i think uh, we will i mean it's already there on the various websites especially the kila website where how the domestic violence during this period has been addressed then there is also comments uh, from sumita on the kerala state of for children a discussion on that probably it could be another webinar issue topic itself and then we have arjun Sir, actually hello hello Sir, already ready okay Sir, already already ready yeah yeah, yeah. we will come we will come back where so uh, and then the arjun has actually asked whether is there any possibility for children during this epidemic to avail tv and connections and other things which every local government in kerala with the support of all agencies are doing now so okay. that yeah in fact okay. um, clarify this yeah now our assessment is and this is something fantastic what local governments can do kerala government announces online uh, teaching courses and we find there are some to and of lakh children who don't have a smartphone or smart tv in the house and within one week almost all children in kerala are provided with television at a common center common center means not uh, keeping the pro covid protocol at a time more, more than four five children would be in that room to see that everything has been arranged by local government now something even more fantastic is going on we are making an offer to every parent in kerala they can have on installment terms a laptop something which would cost only really 12000 rupees or something that would be sufficient for school children the specs have been prepared for that and since we are going to purchase in bulk as a 4 or 5 lakh laptops as people want um now this will be rolled out Uh, you will have a situation where majority of the children in kerala would have a laptop which can be paid in as next 3 years they are given the last time kudumbasri is managing that see 
this is what local governments does to increase do to increase the efficiency of the governance you see you have an emergency the long arm of the government will never reach the far flung villages of india you see but if you have a proper government over the they can shoulder this responsibility so when you ask this question yes and this is a i think a very important example of how local government intervenes in the situation and provides for the emergency and a couple of comments also on the age especially children now means up to 18 and uh, hope you have, you have already heard that uh, the gram panchayat is mentioning that it is not just 0 to 3 or 6 it's up to 18 and you have also seen the visuals where i mean up to 18 year old children are also participating this, is, this was posted by akila and of course she had also mentioned about the need for addressing second generation issues like mental health substance abuse and all a few of them have been already addressed in this presentations also but others are also doing uh, and when uh, 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 there are other questions also probably we will send it uh, separately now so that uh, the time is too late now thank you and joseph for that thank you okay uh, i mean it has been a very interesting session and webinar i would say i mean that is why people still sat through even we overshot by almost one hour but i think it was interesting uh, for that and uh, formally we the organizers the gift haritha kerala mission and kila thank shrimati k k shailaja teacher the honorable minister for health social justice women and child development also the panelists samadhi shobha koshi sri balagobal and uh, dr kadireshan and uh, you have been totally involved in this whole process this webinar process thanks to all of you of course the elected representatives the officials of the local governments who have presented palapattanam the peravur kolaji ramaburam katakada kotakkal and thrissur district panchayat i mean thanks to all of you for making this presentation i know that we know that during this last one week you have all been very active to get this done especially during this covid time where lockdown and all kinds of problems were there still you managed i mean thanks a lot we have also pressurized you too much i know but thanks to all of you and for all the participants who have been watching this for all the participants uh, a big thank you and then the team which worked behind in 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 gift in haridwar mission and of course the it team in kila and the child resource center in kila where dr peter raj and his team have been I men literally working day and night and the young team who have been preparing supporting him in kila uh, I men thanks to all of you next week same time on saturday 2:30 to 4:30 we have a session on water and land management of a particular assembly constituency where six gram panchayats and two block panchayats come together and how they work together to work upon long term for long term results in water conservation and land management so next week 2:30 to 4:30 saturday i think it is 25th of july thank you all anything sir kadireshan nothing sir it was very wonderful sir the overall it's a uh, every he was asking whether you have met him earlier no 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 sir 